What's going on there guys, it's Mac. Hope you guys are well. This is our <laughs> usual annual Christmas uh, special that we normally do. Uh, this time round, we're having to do it via uh, video chat because... Um, you should do way. like a lockdown, lockdown special and then put like lockdown. And it also is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are level yeah. four now. We're and it's also... Four. Tier four, man. Tier four lockdown. So sounds like a it sounds like a video game. Made it. Made it. Twenty one days. Twenty one days later. So even if even if we wanted to be in the same same room, we can't. Some of us because of the fact that, uh, yeah, lockdown. Such a bullshit year, man. And um, obviously, um, with you being far away in a different country, it's a bit more trickier. So anyway, this is the best we can do. But this is. I'm yep. gonna I'm gonna try and do a bit more um, like casual stuff. So we're gonna talk about game awards. Uh, just basically, okay. The, like, the I didn't watch them. But all just good. just the top news. Basically, the few top news. We're not gonna go through the entire thing because it's you know it's a bit old now. Uh, but we'll talk about that. We'll talk about what we yeah. think would yeah. have been or should have been the like the game of the year and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll also do like a trivia. Uh, this is a retro game trivia. Just to um, see what everyone's um, general knowledge about retro games and games in general is. Um, I looked at some of the questions, um, they're actually quite good, as in most of them are quite, you know, you can pick them up, they're not weird, yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're quite standard, but they do have different levels, they have like easy, medium, and then they've got the harder ones, so the harder ones might be a bit more trickier even for me, but I was looking through a couple of them and I was like, actually this is quite good, I could actually uh, answer some of these, so it's worthwhile. Um, so I think it, yeah, so I think it's like ten questions per game anyway. But um let's just go into um what you guys have been playing and um let's talk about the game awards. So um I know you've been playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, um, no. Briefly, no. briefly, I returned mine. But yeah, so Cyberpunk was good at the start and then it descended into a mess because I couldn't get past an hour without it crashing. I had just so much issues with the story. Like it was one of those things where in the end I know it might be a great game, but now I just don't give a shit because they sold me something really crap. Yeah, I know it's um it is also you're playing on the PS five, so let everyone know that you are playing yeah. PS five and but it's weird because a lot of people a lot of people are saying the PS five was alright, but I've had crashes on the hour. And people, what people are doing is there's a difference between playing something and it being a smooth experience to forcing yourself to go through the bad stuff just because you love the game. Yeah, that's like, just bullshit. That's just bollocks. Yeah. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Like. I mean, that IGN video that you sent me, um, the, the guys were playing, you know, um, on PS5 as well as the PS4, um, Xbox Series X as well as um, Xbox One. And they said that the, the crashes were still very often, as in like yeah. 10 yeah. to 15 crashes in the entire playthrough. Um, crashes per hour i've heard about crashes every 50 minutes i've heard about crashes every hour and these are hard crashes where you have to literally reboot the entire system it's a good thing that these new systems actually have very quick startups because goddamn that's, yeah exactly. that's freaking exactly. annoying yeah that's, but if i had to wait for an xbox one to reboot every single time like that i'd be i'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd be pissed off and my xbox one i got a series x yeah. Yeah? the startup screen is just like the mm. longest thing in Ever. It feels like you, you boot up, it's just a green Xbox, and then you had to wait there for literally like about three, four minutes. It feels like it just sits there, and then it gets into the yeah, game, into the dashboard. Um, can you imagine doing that every single time? Every single time after a crash? Uh, yeah, someone, uh, is, someone would, is doing that. Someone is doing that. I would tear my hair time. out, man. That would be just making me so mad. Um, and that's my point. Like, you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have to do that in a game. That's why for no, me, I just. Returned it. I returned it and just thought, forget it. Let me. No, but other than that, yeah, I bought. I went online and I bought the whole like Yakuza saga on PS4, just so I can go through the ones that I've not played. Nice. And then, um, yeah, I bought Nino Kuni 2. Yeah, great game. I'm gonna try and play that. Mm, mm, mm. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I tried to go through a lot of the the old games just to test the game boosts on the PS5. So I've just been like just jumping between my old. Games just seeing how they run, okay. and yeah, it's impressive, man. Like, it makes you, you want to play some of the hits again. That's pretty mad. That's pretty mad. Um, have you checked out the PS Plus games and all that? 
Are you liking them? Thought yeah, them? well, I, I owned, I own most of them. The only one I don't mm. own is Days Gone. I own like I own them already. So, yeah. so it wasn't. It's not like a big deal for me, but for for everyone else, it's great. Budget <laughs> sponsored by Columbia. <laughs> That's fine. I've actually got, I've actually got a Mario T-shirt on. Can't see it, but. Hey, Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo for the win. It's, yeah, they made it on Uniqlo one. It was Am really I the only one that's like an adult at you lot who's wearing like an actual adult? Oh, wear. yeah, it's wait, 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 wait. Let's Nintendo. Take, let's take back a bit. We are adults by default. We can wear Nintendo and not be classed children, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you can. So yeah, why are you wearing wearing full ranks like that, mate? Apologise. I'm not going to apologise. <laughs> I've got a heart on my apologize. It's, it's PC Master Race guy, innit? What do you expect? Fuck you, yeah, it's true. I've been playing Cyberpunk and I've had no crashes. And to him, even a place to hear him, I am great. Oh, no, yeah, no. It's been, oh, no, it's been no, a no, great no. experience. I've been playing Cyberpunk and I love it. I don't understand what the problem with the consoles is, but it's a fantastic game on PC. <laughs> it runs. I've That's had no true. crashes. He doesn't I've had no heaters. restarts. I've not had to deal with any problems. Hey, I don't hey, even know what. He are, you running, are you running on ultra settings? Are you running in ultra settings? I can run in ultra settings. Yes. He doesn't. He doesn't. You should it. be. You're not. You're not. So why are you not I'm running, running it? Ultra I'm running it on high because I can't actually tell the difference. You do not have the high. full cyberpunk experience. I know, but I I have glasses. <laughs> I can't. Actually tell the difference. <laughs> you don't have the full cyberpunk experience. <laughs> you're not, I'm, 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 if you're not running it ultra I mean, ultra mode, no, then what's the point? I can't really see ultra. I can't see the differences between ultra and high, so I'm happy with then high. No, through. but if you've, a, if you've got a PC, you should be playing on ultra setting. Everything should be butter smooth and beautiful. That is the oh, dream. Right. It's got us moving beautiful. It's just like a jet fighter in my fucking in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, <laughs> it's saving a lot on the electricity bill, isn't it? Because obviously you're just um, heating, the, heating the house purely with the PC. To be honest, overheating, yeah? you, nice and warm <laughs> with the consoles to be honest on. You, it's, worked, it's worked really well on high. Like on high, it hit 60 FPS. I had no problems because I altered around a couple of those settings. And also, we built into Cyberpunk for AMD, you can set fidelity mode. So one of the fidelity modes allows you to tell the graphics card to hit 60 FPS continuously. So it obviously, mm -hmm. it tries to just hit that at all times and it gets stable on that. That's the only that, thing I had to... Unless you're driving a car. Is that, yeah, is that game... I didn't know, which I didn't know that driving a car would just bring your FPS down to nothing. Can you not bring that any higher? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I only have a 60 FPS screen, so it's pointless for me to go higher. So your PC is not throttled, is the actual monitor? I, I've got a 32 inch monitor. I can't have it higher than 60 FPS. That's just fucking impossible. When you look at Demon Souls, when you look at like even G, um, Grand uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, on their like fidelity settings, when you're looking, they look amazing. They don't look like they're, they're putting punches. They look like really, really good games. But what's so to no, say that it's, it's going to get better than that? That's freaking amazing. That's like happy. That's great news to me. Like, yeah, <laughs> so no going to get better than that. You know what gets me about that though, is, and what I don't understand is the CPU and the GPU in both consoles is AMD. It's not yeah. NVIDIA. It's an AMD yeah, 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 uh, CPU and it's a GPU. And yet, you have fucking ray tracing on consoles for AMD GPUs. Yeah. And on PC, you have AMD GPUs that don't have ray tracing. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that yeah. is actually. Quite, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't like for me. It's just like I yeah. get that it's, PCs it's, obviously it's... are still Nvidia. Um, the, no, the no, 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 no. Crytek, sh Crytek showed a demo of ray tracing, and Hassan Senior, I think, the Crytek yeah. demo where they did yeah. ray tracing, and it can be done. It doesn't have to be done in Nvidia Tech. So, who, just... so who does it on PCs? Is it Nvidia doing? Nvidia it? do it, but the thing yeah. with we were discussing this earlier today. The problem with ray tracing is that not that many people are currently taking it up. It's not being picked up as much as NVIDIA want it to be picked up. It's definitely next-gen next tech, but game developers have to want to use it. And when they yeah. do use it, the issue with it is, is, is that what Hassan was saying was, was on um, Mars Morales, rasterization, where you stand in front of a, uh, a mirror or something, you have the ray tracing, but you have all of this kind of distortion going on with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not. It's like you basically say you was on the New York street. You look in the mirror. Spider Man seems to be fine, but the car that's reflected in it 
the reflection is like a lower polygon version of the car, <laughs> like a ghetto version. You turn around, and you're like, oh, that looks amazing. Then you turn around and look in the mirror, you're like, oh. <laughs> you're like, they're fo- they're the focusing game. on certain parts. The, the, like, yeah, the, yeah. the main character, they're, they're reflecting him nicely. Reflection is obviously secondary to third third importance, right? And then they've got like an object in the background and that's the third importance and they're trying to skimp on that. But that happens with obviously tech upgrades as well as um, developers being able to use the tech better. So, you know, give it a bit of time. I'm pretty sure in about uh, one to two years time, you're going to see it be crazy. Yeah, I want to see I want to see what Bluepoint do with it because Demon Souls has zero ray tracing. It was all done with baked lighting and stuff and it looks crazy. So when they get a hold of it, I'd love to see what they do. With it. yeah. It's going to happen. It is definitely going to happen. Like It's tech that makes sense. DLS makes sense as well. Both of them are the way that gaming needs to go through. You can't just have these graphics cards churning out stuff. You need to have intelligent lighting. You need to have stuff that's going to make the games go wow. But then the thing is, is that PC gaming moves forward so goddamn quickly that by the time you catch up, in six months' time, your stuff is already old. Like, yeah, it's one yeah. of the reasons why a console is definitely, if you're a gamer who enjoys gaming but doesn't want to jump into this whole idea that I want a PC, you just buy yourself a console and be happy. But, the, but again, I, I have a PC because I enjoy strategy games. I can't play them on PlayStation 5. I can't play Rome Total War yeah, on PlayStation back, 5. Back, I can only play that. Back on your point yeah. about um, NVIDIA um, and obviously ray tracing being uh, not being picked up, um, generally it's whatever's popular and whatever like has like the the majority of the games being pushed out, everyone else for, forces you know, are forced to replicate. So if PS5 and Xbox Series X take off and all the games come to that before everything else, you're going to see a lot of PC ports um, from console ports, just like how Destiny was. Um, and you're going to see that they're going to start incorporating things that are being implemented on consoles first, possibly. So they're going to have to be using more ray tracing if consoles take over. And consoles are, no. are, are a big share of the marketplace, right? So you're going to see games being developed for them, possibly first, and then PC ports also, and then they're going to be like, okay, if they've got ray tracing, we're going to have to implement ray tracing and find something. You've got, show stop. You've got to show stop of games like Control. The ray tracing and the, the physics are out of the control when you play it on full settings. But on it's PC. been, but it's gone yeah, the yeah, op- it's, yeah, but it's gone the opposite direction. It was in de- initially it was for PC, then from PC it went to consoles because it was valued as being on consoles. It's something that you have to offer in this generation. There's no excuse of why you can't offer ray tracing before. So you I, have to. Has Cyberpunk not got ray tracing on PC? It has got ray tracing on PC. Yeah, it's, it's got yeah, ray tracing yeah, and it's got DLS. Right? Yeah, that, that was a game yeah, that was developed but it's for optimi- PCs. It, First. This is the thing. It was opt. They optimized it for Nvidia, but if you look at some of the reviews, AMD cards run it better than what Nvidia cards run it. So in okay, certain right. cases, AMD cards are destroying Nvidia cards on it. But mm. it was optimized and built on Nvidia technology, so it was built for that. It's meant to be optimized for that. It's funny it's- how AMD is like the the main thing in like these new next gen consoles, and they're obviously very because powerful. it's cheaper. But yeah, because in cheaper. my mind, I'm still on the old school on PCs where it, it, NVIDIA is the one, you know, and AMD mm-hmm. is like second best. I know you say that they've come a lot closer, but the fact that essentially no, but the, consoles are using it, second best in their top notch consoles makes me think AMD is actually pretty cool, you know? It depends <laughs> on what you talk. No, but it depends yeah. on what you're looking at. If you look at, if you're saying that AMD is good at GPUs uh, compared to CPUs, so GPUs. NVIDIA will always be in front because they've always held that. They've been in front for ages. It doesn't mean that AMD hasn't caught up. AMD's done well in the GPU department. If you now look at CPUs from a price point, certain AMD CPUs are better value for money than Intel ones are because mm-hmm. Intel dominated the market for such a long time that AMD came and kicked their ass and built chips that are cheaper than what they are and they are like the thermal performance is much better that's why i think playstation and uh microsoft decided to go with amd because they knew that one it's not going to use that much thermal headroom and two it's much cheaper to stick an amd chip in there than go to intel and say to intel build us a chip for this because intel is going to charge you bucks and intel will probably say 
we want marketing on top of that. We want you to tell people that the, <laughs> yeah, content, yeah, the chip it. is in that's there. It, yeah. Like, or some sort of licensing deal as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they want it branded without, on with, the console. They want to have it etch, <laughs> etch into the casing. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, without it, going yeah. without going off into too much of a tangent on this. But, yeah, the well, question was, what are you playing? That's oh, that's, that's basically what I said. Yeah, we moved into the first topic, which was Cyberpunk, which is fine. We can finish off Cyberpunk discussion. Uh, yeah. I think Cyberpunk is a game that's very ambitious. I think it's a game, like Hassan said several times, that would be good in a couple of years' time. I think the high profit killed the game. I think the lack of waiting from people absolutely murdered the game. And I think beyond that, CD Projekt Red themselves did a disjustice by not like taking longer with the game. I think on PC, it is good, but it could be better. There's points where the AI is so dumb, you just feel like crying because of how stupid the AI is. But uh, also, I think the whole debacle of what happened with the console gaming and what's going internally in the company as well, I think they really blew the eight years of great work that they did on the Witcher series is gone. But they so I loved that. it. Do you not think, like, with this game, like, when you play it, because of the hype and what the mythical game that we created in our heads while waiting for this to come out, the game's come out and it the mechanics to me feel like nothing is new. Everything comes those parts I've played in every other first-person game. Like, it doesn't feel fresh to me when I it play it. It feels complicated. I enjoyed it, feels... it, don't get me wrong. But it, it, didn't feel, it didn't feel fresh at all. It doesn't it feel, feel like... fresh, but it also feels complicated, if you get what I mean. It's, it's meant to be a city, right? But when you compare yeah. that city... Okay, I know that I've, my comparison is going to be bad, but when you compare that city to, like, GTA City, mm -hmm. GTA City, you can learn it after a bit of time which way you need to go. With Night City, it doesn't seem it's going to be easy to learn that. Like, even with Crackdown 1 and 2, you could learn the city to a certain extent. Yeah. You knew yeah. if I take this turn... Spider-Man, you, you, you can learn yeah. New York. You can learn New York. But with yeah. Cyber, with <laughs> Cyberpunk... That's based on a real city, though. That's why, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but with Night City, though, the Night City is complex because it's not just sprawling. It's um, You've got Modulative. the vertical degrees as well. Uh, yeah, so it's... It's complex. It's, it's going to take a long while to get a handle on that. Is scene. it like? Is it like very deep and you have flying cars? Yeah, 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 yeah. That reminds well, me. The catch. Yeah. This is what upset yeah, me because of being a being a PlayStation Five player, I we infiltrated a hotel. It's an early mission. I won't say the spoilers on the mission itself, but I looked out the window of this hotel, and it was a PS3 view with one flying car that went by. Uh... One. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I pulled out my phone and recorded it. When yeah, I turned and looked, I, 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 was, I, was te I wish I had a setup where I could record it because I was like, this ain't acceptable. This game is not ready. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just not so, ready. It's basically you know, the background. Same. It's the background that they can't seem to do. They focus on the foreground at the time. So maybe like the very... At the very most, yeah, the your, hotel gun, was sick. Yeah, the, your gun that the you're hotel holding was sick. is... Well. is well, I had brilliant. problems in the hotel. The hotel's going to be mad. Outside the window, who gives a uh, shit? Yeah. Basically, is what they're thinking I, at the moment. I had a problem where one of the characters was walking in front of the glass, and you could see uh -huh. where you had the effect, but around him, you could see the effect like trying to catch up to him to like meet the edge of his leg. <laughs> and it was just like. Do you mean like he was popping he was, in? He was no, popping it was in. a popping in. It was like the, the effect is on the entire window, and then around him, where the effect is meant to go really nicely, it's jagged as shit, and it's just like. If I look carefully between his legs Bad yeah, and the window, thing, isn't it? I could see, yeah, yeah that's it, clearly that's out the window. It's clearly yeah, out my, my first crash, my I first crash was when I got out of my flat. When I got out of the game world, when you're in your home flat, I got out of my flat and I was ready to go out into the world and you meet Jackie on a stool. So, like, I go out and Dead. it crashed on me. <laughs> as as I out, it just froze and I was like, oh. I looked at my pad and I looked up and then it was like, beep, out of the menu into the PS5 menu. Waited, loaded in, and then um, you know what when it, was you weird know, was I went to Jackie. Sorry, go on. You know when it crashes like that. Yeah. How far do you go back? Is it, is it like a constant save points? No, there's a constant auto save, which is good. But then this is the this is the other catch. There was a recent bug that got flagged up where if your save file goes over eight MB, it becomes corrupted and you can't use that save file anymore. That's what they, that's what they're getting sued for. Over eight Poland. MB. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're getting sued for in Poland. Because in Poland, like people are not happy about that. That how is it that it goes over A and B and it deletes it? 
Don't quote me on that. That, that sounds like Go a Google it. That sounds like a very small uh, save file size, in, in my opinion. I'm not sure about how big it's save small. files yeah, are, the console, but yeah. no, they're, they're small. That's really small. Yeah. But that, <laughs> that seems very small. small. That seems like a PS2 type of size, size. You know, I used to get eight megabyte uh, memory card sticks. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. That was so the, I would the imagine the larger yeah. the game, the larger the generation, they would have been a bit more larger. And that seems very little for especially a game like that. Also, I do you ever remember like... SNES games getting corrupted like that? Sorry to interrupt. No, they won't. I don't ever remember SNES. I don't remember Never. ever they... SNES or Never. NES games getting corrupted like. They won't. I remember. Finished. They have to. Yeah. But I remember PlayStation 1 fight. I never had PlayStation 1, 2, Dreamcast. None of them ever got corrupted. No. I've never had a corrupted file, yeah. Save yeah. files would have get corrupted. I know, like, the console itself. I've not, no, but I've not had it. I have not personally had a corruption through my I've gaming never had career. It, yeah. Through my stuff, I've not had a corruption on my game. I've never, I've, I've maybe got lucky, one... maybe it's a lucky thing, but I've not had corruption. So, is it auto saving like every what? Every yeah, it's auto saving. So, I got back to the same point. What I mean is, like, I actually saw this <laughs> on another good. podcast. They raised this point on, um, I think it was the Game Blast podcast, but but anyway, what they said is there was a weird moment where you meet your character by a noodle stand, <laughs> and okay. your character's response is like noodles. Like you shouldn't be eating noodles. Like noodles are a weird thing in the city. Did you have like a bowl just get stuck floating in the air? Uh, I, I don't know. But no, no, it's not just that. Then there was a, there was another thing about a hamburger place. I remember I was just listening to NPCs and stuff they were saying just sounded really nonsensical. Like it just got progressively like there's little things here and there that I say like this game in our heads. I think I built up a better game than I was given. Like if I, my expectations were low, I probably would have loved the game. But because my expectations were so high on it, I was let down massively. But you know that AG, AGN video that he sent me about where he showed an E3 comparison and it was like yeah, brilliant yeah. city and then it became it. how it really is. And it was sparse, it was empty, <laughs> it was polygons, <laughs> it looked like PS3. Yeah. Now, what I want to double check is that, is that how it is on the consoles but not necessarily on the PC at the moment? I don't know, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I can't stop laughing. I can't stop laughing at that because the, the IGN video E3 and what actually music that is, game like, is meh, meh. It's like it's yeah, like yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's Ubi, Ubisoft, isn't it? It's basically Ubisoft all yeah. over again. Ubisoft wants yeah. to show at yeah. E3, and then when the game comes out, you're like Legion. Legion wasn't meant to look like this. Legion was meant to look so much better than this. So, so why is it like? Is the city <laughs> like that, Love Joe? Have you noticed? The city that? is populated. The city is populated. But if you have to compare cities and you compare that to like GTA 5, GTA 5 destroys that city straight up. In GTA 5, the AI actually bothers to fight back or the AI is more yeah. intelligent enough to learn what it needs to do. Whereas in Night City, the AI is just sometimes is so retarded. So there's a lot more. Sense. There's a lot more they can do. But that. For example, when you're driving your car, not only does the frame rate tank in any version of the game. I heard it goes really low, yeah. Also, when you're driving, the driving AI is so terrible. Bad. Where if you park your car and just stop, or even if you just stop driving, all the other cars stop. Oh, no, no, no. That's oh. not the worst thing. The... If you call your car, That's if weird. you call your car in the wrong area, your car comes, but it explodes and gets completely destroyed <laughs> and it arrives there. <laughs> And I, that happened to me once, where I badly needed a car. All I heard was an explosion, and then my car's in the middle of a container, completely wrecked six ways to Sunday. Like, oh, I, when you press a button, it, it, your car into automatically. Comes it comes to you. It's like yeah, it's like Red Dead. You you press it. It, and it, it comes like, to you like, anywhere. It comes to yeah, you yeah. anywhere. It doesn't yeah. stop logically. It doesn't say. The road ends here, let me stop here and let me wait for him a bit further. He just carries yeah, on until yeah. it carries on until yeah, it explodes. Yeah. <laughs> Come hell or high water, that car will arrive anywhere. There's no road. Yeah. There's like a river down here, but I'm going to see drive towards you. Oh shit, I fell, I exploded. I the thing is, it will, kill, cross, it will so. kill you. It will kill you and then arrive. <laughs> it will it's, it's basically you. stupid, very stupid. Um, the game, yeah, the game AI, needed AI. Much. I think it's, I don't think six months is even good enough to fix it. I think it was it's so it's so Fight much problems in depth so with that bad. game. It's gonna take a while. So it's gonna I, take a yeah, while. I, I haven't got the game, so I'm talking don't from get obviously the game. just the reviews, right? And obviously yeah. I got hyped um, for the last year and a bit about this game from obviously all the information I've I found out about it. And uh -huh. uh, I'm looking forward to it, but at least in my mind I'm gonna be getting it when the new gen consoles I'm gonna purchase next I don't year. think you should even buy it then. I'm not being I'm not being as trying it, to be as negative. It, as it, I'm gonna wait I for think, the next gen. Purchase. I think you should get 
the yeah, that that's a good shout. But I think literally game of the year edition when everything is in there, yeah, you yeah. know it, right? Then you oh, buy. It. I mean, if someone if someone can give you the all clear when the next gen patch comes, but as far as we know right now, they're getting in more and more hot water every time we see the news. Yeah, they have planned. Then the one point five patch came out, and then I saw like a podcast and someone said it's still crashing even after this patch that's just come this week. So now they've got a big patch in January and a big patch in February. Excellent. My point is, why would, you buy, why would you buy a base game and then have gigs of patches? And then yeah, why not wait until there's a disc that you could just have one patch? It reminds me of Street Fighter 5. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking Street the exact five. same thing. When yeah. I got that game, there wasn't even a story mode, right? It was the bare bones. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. Remember? That's a good and point. they that's built on it after. That. You know, we're used to that. We should be used to that. But the fact that we they did no, it... Nintendo, Nintendo's original ethos with the Nintendo seal of approval was a game should be fixed, finished, sorry, before it actually comes out. We've and got to stay Nintendo has been allowed. Doing that, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Nintendo have always done yeah. that. Like, their Zelda wasn't broken. It wasn't half complete. No, it wasn't. It was no, finished wasn't. game and then they added bonus stuff. So I think they are still doing that and they are showing a level of... Um, competence that there it is there it up. is the nintendo seal of approval, seal of approval. There very blurry yeah. but yes yeah, there um, but my point is um companies we need to step back and be like we cannot have you patching for 20 years like we need you to make a almost fully complete game yeah and have maybe day one patch and so, that's it yeah and what but you, you doing? forget what are you doing you for, yeah you doing? no but you like, forget cd project red though had the similar problem with witcher but people forget that it's just yeah, that forgot. the game, yeah, the game yeah, was so forgot. good that people overwrote that. Like by the time it came out on the PS4 and it came out on Steam, and they had the Ultimate Edition, they'd fix majority of the problems. Just wait, wait as long as you can, and uh, yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to playing it on a projector. So I'm, I'm fine. I'm gonna have that set up and done later on. It's gonna take me a while to get to that set up, so I don't mind waiting. And um, anyone that wants to buy a game, just watch the reviews rather than pre-order it. And yeah, then, and then it, buy it, it, you know. And uh, at least this way, what they done, they they fuck up, um, is gonna help the industry at least fix up, you know, and take take note from what Halo Infinite did with you know with Xbox and and delay a game if it's yeah, delayed. Delayed. delayed because man. a bad I would game say... will be bad forever. A good game will be good um, forever, basically. Isn't it? A bad game. I would will be Miyamoto uh... Miyamoto san, the words of Miyamoto. <laughs> I would say, as a public service announcement to anyone that's watching this video and you make a decision that you want Cyberpunk, think of it in one sense. Cyberpunk is going to cost you an X amount of money. It may not be great. It may crash your console. Or the alternative is you can go out and buy six or seven other games for a, the same price and enjoy them, which are completed and at full spec. You can get Borderlands for cheap if you really want to. If you don't yeah. want Borderlands, you can buy Jacuzza series, which is also heavily recommended. If you don't want to get that, you can get Halo, like all of them, I get, think. Get Doom so, Eternal. Yeah. So yeah. if you do yeah. want to spend money and you're thinking, I really want Cyberpunk, watch all the reviews. If after that you still want Cyberpunk, you only have yourself to blame. Like, no, one, and yeah. no, no. If you have the base consoles, do not buy Cyberpunk. Yeah. Do not buy it. Do not buy, buy other games console, because for Christmas, it. the do thing is, it, yeah. for Christmas, you can get through six or seven other games easily. You can pick up stuff like yeah. Control yeah. on Steam has gone down now to like nearly 20 quid or something or less than that. You can pick that up for cheap. Yeah. Also, I was going to mention about the actual patches. Um, it looks like they're going to be releasing all these patches to stabilize the game rather than yeah. focusing on the next gen patch. That will be adding to the game. They need to get the game working first of all. So, yeah, that's so, it. That's so it. the first few yeah. months are going to be getting the game up to scratch so it doesn't shut down and then they're going to start adding in additional um like ray tracing cutscenes, additional um... no ray tracing is already in there it's already in there it is is it okay so they're going no, to add... not, for, not, for the, not for the consoles not for the consoles though they don't have it okay so That's there you it. go yeah the next so... yeah the consoles are going to have ray tracing they're an upscale the console versions now are, are an upscale Okay, so from, I, so we're basically the PS4 versions. The, the, so we're waiting. What Max saying is right. We're Ray waiting tracing, for the next. Gen Ray tracing will be part of the next gen patch this game because they should just not bother. Bother to any, yeah. anyway. I think we we can nip the cyberpunk. Uh, oh, so uh, yeah, we but, should. So they can easily. Yeah. Um, like, I want nip them to the add. I want them to add stuff like you know how Hassan said when you look at the window. In the when you look at the window, and you see PS3 graphics. 
are they going to fix that first of all? I want them to add more assets, add more yeah, people in the city, they're make, gonna it make it more lively, PS2 graphics. make it PS2 more graphics. awesome. No, they need to make That's it, it yeah. into a real life thing, innit? Um, PS1, and then, they have yeah. to go back to go forwards. <clears throat> and then add the next gen patch. As soon as the next gen patch drops, I'm, I'm in. I'll buy it because I'm looking forward to playing that game. But this I wouldn't the... buy it. I wouldn't buy it when the next gen patch drops. I would still wait a little bit longer. Nah, the but by that point, may by that point, the, I would wait long the game enough. Up even more. By that no, point, you don't I know, think... man. Oh, you mean you, like I... don't, don't be the the first patch? At least wait for the second yeah. patch. Yeah, because remember, okay, when yeah. the when the next gen patch drops, there could be next gen patch errors that they need. Yeah, it's a beta, in it. This is to become the beta again, in it. Yeah. So, my my, no, wait, my I'll strongest wait, advice I'll wait, is I'll wait for the game of the year edition. I'm hundred yeah, percent on that stance now. Game next game year is a lot of for that. game. Yeah. Game There's of the Year edition, they usually do that when they got a lot of DLC. This game doesn't look like it's going to have a lot of DLC. The, the, the no, multi- it will. It will. They, had, they, had, they had two planned. They did have two planned. Yeah, One but was the... supposed to be a new year if the game was working. Think, think about it. They well, can't, they re- they can't do DLC is and charge back. you. All the plans are pushed back. Let, let's take note no, from they Street Fire. Street Fire 5, Street Fire the 5 the right? Start... They, they did DLC, right? But then they basically gave that shit away for free because they, they realized yeah, the so game was Cyber. not finished. So they had to finish it off and they pretty much gave it. So in a Mac, game of the year edition, Mac. I don't think they're going to give that. It's going to be Mac, more they've already announced. They already announced that all the DLC is free already. For Cyberpunk. They've already announced that every... Yeah, for Cyberpunk, all yeah. the DLC will be free. So, so You're not what? lucky, you know that. There's, there's a game that came out they have on... They um... to get back some customer... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Have you ever heard the story about Dawn of War 3? Is that the one that we, was from Amazon? We don't want to hear about uh, it. So <laughs> Dawn, Dawn, of War 3, Dawn of War 3 got released, a lot of hoo-ha, and everybody like was really excited about Dawn of War 3, and this was like PC hype. And it got released, and the company was a uh, Relic that made it, I think. And Relic didn't get the numbers that they wanted. So what did Relic do? Relic completely dropped the game, any support. They left it. Uh, it's they permanently have left it at the state that it's in. It was meant to have DLC. It was meant to have all of this stuff. Nothing. They they haven't even opened it up to allow people to mod it. They just dumped it at that. And they were like, we're not supporting this any longer because it didn't wow. hit the sales figures that it needed to wow. hit. And that game, that game when it came out, everyone was excited because you knew you could get shit tons of DLC for it. And they were like, no, that's the original like a fucking. Fuck up of all games. If you want right, to, yeah, Amazon, wanna... Amazon did the same. Amazon had a games as service that was going to release. I can't remember the name of the game, but they released it. It was a mess, so they removed the game completely now, and they're rebuilding it right now behind the scenes. Yeah, I know which one you're on about. The shoot 'em up. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna bring it back out again when it's actually ready. They're gonna put they're some money in. They're making another one. They're making ready. another one which is called New World, where you are going to America. Yeah, I saw, that. To do I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. So. Are we going on to what game we're playing now? Are we, Mac are we hasn't off? said what he's been playing. Mac is Mac. No yeah. one said what they've been playing. No, because Lovey oh, yeah, didn't, sorry, stop, didn't stop yeah, talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like talking and talking. It's a Christmas, talking. It's a Christmas special, motherfucker. I can speak as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> so I've I've been playing Doom Eternal. Um, I complete also Bulletstorm on the Switch, um, which was like a um, a downloaded game. It was a uh, a souped up version of the PS3, PS Xbox 360 game. I love that. I played the PS3 and game. I like. I, I get why it's called. I would get why it's called Bulletstorm. It's really cool because you just literally just shooting things, um, <laughs> different ways of shooting things. You're basically <laughs> sometimes on a rail. You know what you call those rail gun shooters where you're going force, you're moving, and you're just shooting with a. It's sort of like from a helicopter. You've got those bits. You've got the bits where you're actually walking and shooting you've got the bits that you're basically exploring jumping platforming and shooting um it's all different versions of shooting and it's just it's been a bit of mindless fun and i played as duke so you know duke nukem so they have that in the switch edition so i quite like that complete it and then i also moved on to doom eternal doom eternal was just i got on xbox um one and it's it's just really good like the amount of uh, mindless fun you're having on that game it's crazy um and it's um yeah i'll put it slightly lower than normal level but it's fine because okay. Okay, because cool. it means i can i can push through the the game a bit more easier yeah. uh but even then the amount of hordes that you get when it comes to like those areas where everybody comes at you you're just literally flipping through guns you're adding additional uh mods to your guns so you got each gun has like two to three mods as well as switching between guns and i'm doing all of that just by muscle memory now because i've got used to the game 
And it's actually mm. from someone that's coming in from an outside, you'd be a bit like, oh shit, how the fuck do you change his guns around? But once you, you played the story and you're getting through it, I'm about halfway, more than halfway through now. Um, I, I can pick up the actual changes of the guns when it's like horde mode and there's like all these enemies everywhere. So it, you need to be fast on the triggers because when you die, you're going to start that entire horde again. And I've done that quite a few times and no one wants to do that, man, because these enemies are fucking hard. Yeah, and they just come at you and they come at you. It doesn't end. It's like a, such a long slog a wave. of, of a wave. wave, yeah. yeah. Uh, but when you move on, you're doing a lot of running around and jumping and platforming, which is really cool. You've got double double jump and you got um you know the destiny mechanics where you jump and then you glide you got all of that stuff happening yeah so it's pretty mad um it looks looks mad on the 4k system i sold my switch version uh, i sold that a long time ago um i got doom 1 and doom so doom 2016 and doom eternal both on the xbox one just for why did you sell the switch why did you sell the switch version why did you sell the Switch version? Only because the multiplayer aspect died down. There wasn't no one playing it no more. Yeah, but Doom multiplayer is always like a fickle thing. It only lasts for a couple of months and then it disappears. Yeah. I thought it would last, it would definitely last longer on an Xbox rather than a Switch. Because Switch Online base, they're just a bit different, isn't it? So it's harder for them for it to last yeah, longer. That's true. And that's I noticed true. it died very quickly on that. So I was like, okay, I'm it died. It died super quick. I never bothered yeah. with the Doom multiplayer. But I would uh, say but it's good to got it on Xbox. I would say yeah. play that. It's like um, quite a few missions. I'm I'm about half, more than halfway through. Some missions are like an hour long. It's it's that long. <laughs> Each are you enjoying mission, it though. <clears throat> Each mission has like three chapters, I think, inside it. Yeah, it, it's fun, man. It's fun. After a while, you get a bit grossed out because there's just so much gross demon type enemies and then you're tearing shit up eventually right, yeah. i'm like i gotta take a i gotta take a break from it sometimes you know so you gotta jump out <laughs> are uh, you i've been using my um steel series um headphones right so i've got the surround sound um and um, yeah. i was using that with this game to exp you know, sort of test out the headset that i got yeah. It's fucking unbelievable. Like surround sound, I can put the volume yeah. up, and I'm not disturbing nobody. Kids asleep, he's fine. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm not disturbing people, and I could play on quite oh, a no, very yeah. loud volume, and it's it's pretty mad. And the music in that game, man, it's like, it's it's so like it gets you into the mood. Like it, yeah, it's, da, 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 it's like, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, yeah. The electronic music. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's, it literally is. It's, it's, literally that. Literally that. It's, it's, it's it mad. It goes quiet, like, and then it goes, uh, and then it kicks up, and it's like almost like um, some sort of like hardcore rock music, but. Yeah, I know, it's guitar, but it's it like... amps you up. It amps you up because you just like pull out the shotgun, super shotgun, and you're running around just going. Like... And the guns are mad, but you gotta learn how to use them. And then when you get them uh, picked up properly, it is fun, man. It is fun. So I'm trying to get yeah. that completed because you know um, I always say that if I if I pick up a game and I want to beat it, I I gotta stay on it before um, yeah, I yeah. move on to a different game. Otherwise, I'm gonna not finish it. So that's my idea. I want to make sure I got my money's worth on most you of the games. For the first time ever, I played a game from beginning to end to platinum level, and that was 13 Sentinels. Yeah, forget that. Said, it? Forget that platinum stuff, man. That stuff is. I went, I went all the way with that game. I went all. Tiring. But then, what's worse was when you finish the game, you've got these strategy RTS battles, and when you finish the game, they've got a section that opens up. Mm. That's a thousand levels. <laughs> No, nah, that, that point and you're I, like. No, nah. I, I did about I did about ten of those, and then I was like, "There's a thousand of these." But what I did is, luckily enough, I looked it up, and you get no reward for doing those thousand. Mm. It's just purely out of just maxing out all your stats and stuff. That's yeah, because you, know, you can't levels. max out your stats regularly. No. But mm. yeah, the narrative on that game is insane, insane. It's a and I'm playing uh, Hyrule Warriors Zelda. Um, how, is how is that? How is how is Calamity? It's really good. It's really good. Without trying to spoil anything, I really like it. I think after the first Hyrule Warriors, which was very kind of set in its own way, but this, this one, it's just enjoyable, man. Some of the characters are a bit more overpowered than the other ones. Uh, some people, you definitely want to use a bit more because you know that you can clear house with them. But it's, it's taken the idea of Breath of the Wild it's used, utilized the map of Breath of the Wild and it's pushed it beautifully forward. And somebody right. who hasn't completed Breath of the Wild, for me personally, it's enjoyable. But the problem is I just like killing people left, right, and center with Link. So I <laughs> end up always using Link. But the thing is the weapons on this have been improved heavily. Because some of the weapons 
are just out shit the other weapons. But like if you get the right weaponry, you can do it. Like you can destroy hordes that come at you. But also it's remembering that it's not always about slamming X or the one bar Y several times. You have to do one, two, Smash and then switch bar. quickly to the other one. And then it does like a medium move and it's learning those and calming down on that and saying, okay, let me do this. But it's really good. I think they definitely hit a gold standard with it. And I can't argue and say it's bad. And the last game that I'm playing is are Mario. You, are you enjoying the story though? Because I really want to yeah, get that I think the story. That, without, without ruining it, like again, I think the storyline is solid. I think it's really strong. And I think personally... If you're somebody who who enjoys law, it's really good for that. I can't fault it, man. You have beat. I really Breath, can't fault it. You beat Breath of the Wild, haven't you? I've not beaten Breath of the Wild, but I know what happens in Breath of the Wild. Oh. I haven't beaten Breath of the Wild not because I don't want to play it. It's because I do want to play it, but I know how much time it can consume. So it's not yeah, yeah, wanting yeah. to not play it. But you started. It's it, wanting. I started it. <laughs> I got to the. Is it Garrido Desert? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, I, I'm in the desert, but I need to fight the other uh, beast in the desert, and that's nice. being a bit impossible. The desert one was it... a bit of a slog. I remember when I got there, I was like, "This is long." But yeah, because you had to deal with the other sections, yeah. the other could, side story. I, yeah. I could, I could have easily done what you did and switch off at that point. But if I did, I would not have played it um, and finish it. No, I haven't. You see, that's what happens just... when you when you no. leave a game. You leave it for like it's been almost four years. So that's the that's, I the, that's the danger. I move I move countries when I was playing. Hey, it, man. You, what do you want me to you do? You can play a switch I, on the plane. You can play a switch on the plane. Hey, 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 you see no the excuses. trailers? No excuses, man. Play on the go. You can play while you're in the car. It's not a problem. Remember that. Um, um, but it, you need to. Um, you really should complete that game before that one because that one's more like an origin story. Uh, but if you've played enough of it. I would say go into YouTube and watch the all the clips of the story modes of Breath of the Wild because I hey. basically went back and unlocked all of the flashbacks, watched the YouTube video yeah. after I completed it and I went back and locked, unlocked all the remaining ones and I made sure I watched yeah. all of the cutscenes because I wanted to understand the story because they are there but it's, you got to hunt it rather than it being, yeah, it. Well, it I, being, I it being so served. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I completed most of it during the game but then once I completed it, I went back and found out where they all are because it's impossible for you to unlock them all without just basically by exploring. You can, but I would be like, oh, yeah, you can. I did it. I did it. Yeah, I yeah. spent about 300 hours on Breath of the Wild. They get, well, that's <laughs> Three, why. Yeah. That's fucking why. 300. Like they, 300. They give you a picture yeah, of a tree on the mountain and you're like, you got to go there. And I'm like, where the fuck is that? So, yeah, obviously, yeah, come on, man. so I would really you, explore I would that you. game. You know where places are, man. You remember. Yeah, I mean, 300 hours. 300 hours worth, you would know oh, where yeah. they are. That's no. I, did, I, did that in, I did that in FF10 as well. 300 in FF10 as well. Bro, I've done 150 Dark hours on No Man's Sky. And I uninstall and install that game every so often. And I've just about hit 150 on that. I'd never be able to yeah. do 300 on that. How many hours have you done? No, How many hours have you done on the world? It's easier than you think. It's easier than you think, man. Like, if you were oh, playing man, it back man. then and never stopped, it is, but if you add up your gameplay times, people don't realise. But you, yeah, through the multitude of games, I've got, you, I've got you, about. It's easy. It's easy. It's I'm, easy. It's, it's not my, hard. It's one of my highest ranked um, hours games on my Switch. Um, I'm still on about maybe seventy five, close to eighty hours on that game. So th I, I was quite impressed with that, um, and that's purely by trying to get the story done as well as a bit of explore, exploration. So. You know, you know, you know, did you, you find the island? Did you find um, the Link's Awakening Island? Link's Awakening Island? I'm, I'm not it's sure. what? In Breath of the Wild? There's an island where when you get to it, you shipwreck and you wake up like in your boxes and you've got to get all your items again. No, I don't think I did that. No. Uh, there's so much in that freaking game. That's, that's like, why it costs you, so, that's you, why it's so you know, much. You know when you're flying it's to so a really far bit, like it gets really yeah. exciting because then that you can waste a lot of time on. Um, and I did that on the, one of the highest towers. And when you flew out to this bit on the map where, you know, it was like a dungeon. It was like almost like a, 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 a castle. Yeah, it's a massive bricks. grid. Yeah, 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 and it was, like, it was like past electric wires yeah. and water. And then you get in yeah. there, you fly in, and then it's like a maze, isn't it? you got to go and do stuff and get unlocked. you got the guardians. you got the guardians there too, yeah. 
but yeah, yeah. the fact that I got there, I was so gassed. I was like, I flipping got into this secret part of the map. It felt like to me because it wasn't accessible. I had to go to a really high that's tower it. and fly yeah. across. Yeah. And that's the type of stuff that made. That game again. That, that's the type of stuff that got me gassed about the game. And and I think it came out in the perfect time as well because for the first six months, um, I was like, there's nothing else on the Switch, so it was it was that and waiting for Mario uh, Odyssey, right? So. It was a perfect time for me to just flush out that game, and now and I was enjoying it. Um, but it's harder to play now because there's so many games on the Switch. So I can understand that your backlog can be um, hard for you to get through. Well, backlog is crazy now. Yeah, like, it's crazy. But, PS4, but PS4 but backlog. It's, is it's a lot now. easier when you My have Switch a new system crazy, and you have man. and you don't have very few games. Because like you know, at the moment, like the PS5, yeah, 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 right, you've yeah. only got Miles Morales and you've got Demon Souls, right? it's easier for you to complete that and focus on that rather than having yeah, so true. many games. So yeah. that's yeah. why Breath of the Wild to complete at that time, it was like, it was really um, smart thinking for them the to right release, time. It's the release right a time. game yeah, with yeah. that because when it's empty and you've got nothing else to play, that one will keep you busy for at least four, four to five months, right? Yeah. That, anyway, so watch the cutscenes. Um, definitely watch the cutscenes to understand the story. As well, Fire Emblem Warriors was actually done really well on this. That I completed yeah. the crap out of. That's an amazing game. Yeah, uh, you got flew out the three houses. Yeah, I didn't buy the three houses. No, I, didn't I, buy that. I, I just didn't that's have. Like, it. I, that's that's got, a lot of hours. So, it's got insane reviews. Insane reviews. Yeah, it's too many that's hours, hard. man. What how is it? Too many hours. It's less hours than you put in your other games. <laughs> Bro, I don't have a time of day to sit there and play that many hours in that game. Man. What's, your, what's your total roam times? <laughs> Eighty-eight hours. Huh? Eighty-eight hours. Yeah, shut your mouth, man. You can play that game. You can play. Bro, in game. eighty-eight hours, I conquered the, the known world. That's <laughs> harder to do than. Anything and you ever. still haven't done everything in the game, I bet. Hey, what in Rome to a wall? Or Rome. Yeah, I'm completely. I'm completely in England. Asan, this is why you're RPG king because you know, uh, you, you know, you can put the hours in. Um, me and I think Lovejoy has issues yeah, with. Yeah, but this um, is the problem. Maybe finding too. the time. No, no, it's not the time. People, it's because he, he knows how to game. play it properly. <laughs> He's done so yeah, many exactly. RPGs. So you don't get frustrated. No, 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 it's not even frustration. I get frustrated like, if honestly, I'm not moving forward. He's, he's not because his brain knows. Like, uh, me and you, we play it and we like, oh, let me go and do a side quest. He plays it. I'm going to do this main mission. Then I'm going to quickly bang out this side quest. Then I'm going to get this to do this. It's like, if I could just get his brain Science. and play RPGs, Science. it yeah, would yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the thing yeah, is, yeah. I can't. But because that's, I haven't developed that. But that's fine. I mean, the fact that you have that sort of um, idea set means that it's because you really enjoy RPG games as a result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I personally don't have that type of um, strategic thinking when it comes to RPGs. Do you play RPGs. Uh, Call of Duty, you friends? Do you play Call of Duty? Or not, do you not, play not like Warzone, a, but I've been playing game. I do play Call of Duty, but... Not. I mean, now it's time, it's harder for you now, but what I mean is people always say they don't have the time, but they play like either an MMO or they play Call of Duty with their friends and eventually they clock up the same hours I do playing an RPG because I don't play online games with people. I yeah. play single-player narrative games only. So yeah, but that's you're... why I can always one-to-one with one yeah. Because it's true, because some people clock up like 100 hours on bloody Warzone and I'm like, you lost... Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you lost your mind. <laughs> together, again and again and again. You lost like... your mind. Yeah, but that's yeah. true. I, I've clocked up 150 hours on No Man's Sky because the thing is, that's one game that I know, like how you know how to play RPGs. I exactly know what I need to do when I play that game. I straight away know, boom, I need to go here, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. But the problem with No Man's Sky is... You only really play it when the updates come out. So when the update comes out, you smash it out for a little bit of time. Mm. Then you drop off again. Then they release another update. You jump back into it again. Then you drop off again. So it's one of uh, those. It's like in and out, in and out. All right, let's yeah. talk. Let's talk about uh, game of the year. Um, Last yeah, of Us yeah. Two won it. Um, thoughts? Do you think it deserves the victory? Do you think something else deserves the victory? It's harder because check, I think so my computer on. Roger hasn't played the game, so he can't really say. Like, I think he can have an I, no, 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 but he I can. Think, he, he, he sat through no, our discussion. No, he he knows the game now. <laughs> to be All right, honest, so my you... my thing is, there's never been a game. I've not played a game in the modern in that generation. As all the games on that list, none of them are as polished as Last of Us Two. Like they don't look as good. The voice acting's not as good. Hades like, is good. Last of, this, yeah, Hades is good, but it's not, it's not, it doesn't match the production of Last of Us. It doesn't match it. Same with um, same with 
Tsushima. Tsushima is beautiful, but it's janky in places. It's not as beautiful as Last of Us. Mm. And I know Last of Us say massively open world all the time, but it's big. The areas are big nah, enough for you to be involved. It's the type of game that I like. I like it when it's focused and you've got a, a certain path to follow. Um, I prefer that over 2-2 two, two open plan open world because size, for me, size, I get, I get size lost. Of the, game doesn't matter. the size of the game doesn't matter. The fact of the I, matter I like is, it when it's like that. Yeah. me, it's a blockbuster game and yeah. it came out, I was absorbed from start to finish. The quality of the game blew me away on a technical yeah. level as well. So it deserves it. So you think, it yeah, it. so you agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I, I, agree. I, agree. I, th- I think it deserves um, Game of the Year because of the fact that it had such a really crazy storyline that that got a lot of people wilded up, you know, either angry or pissed off um, or emotionally something because that's what it does. It, it, it pulls yeah, but your it went up against... and I think it did that. So I think it yeah, deserves some the victory. Yeah, but some of the games it went up against is, what, what do you is think? Ridic- ridiculous, man. It went up against Animal Crossing. All right. Animal Crossing is great, but that was like the game of lockdown. Like it was <laughs> yeah. the lockdown it the game. Most- it sold the most. It was like, yeah. Yeah. Ghost of, uh, For all the lockdown uh, needs. Get Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima, I get. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. That's Doom played, Eternal. I, I don't even understand how Doom Eternal got into that. Doom Eternal is a great game, but <laughs> come on, man. It's not a fucking game of the year game. Final it's Fantasy... been a shooter in the shooter section. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. No. Does that kind of... Mm, yeah. Cause it's not... Yeah. You're right. You're right. Because it's not because a complete it's so... game yet. Yeah, but also well. it just exists nah, on but Legend. That's like Resident Evil 2 remake. Can you classify that as a new enterprise for it to... No, but Final, but okay. Final Fantasy VII remake no, slightly no. different because, wait, because remember, Final Fantasy VII remake <laughs> takes one section of the story. There's still more you need to play. Like it take, yeah, because yeah. Because remember, I, it, I know. It's, it's, other game, it's other game that's already complete. I heard it's just about Midgar. From a game that's already right. complete, yeah. To be honest, so you the do, game is already finished. Even Hades, Hades doesn't even deserve to like out of that. Oh, out of that, no, Hades, Hades, they got Hades should have been the indie game. It's winner. not game of the year, man. It's not game. Yeah. yeah, but you've not had anything this year that kind of attacks and says I'm better than Last of Us because Last of Us was like. You have uh, Yakuza like a dragon. You have yeah. Warzone. No, that was, you that, have Spider Man. Out of the blue, I think Yakuza yeah. like a dragon. Yeah, Miles Morales was on the list for voice acting, for voice acting award. Okay. An action game, I think. An action game. I've not yeah, played the game, and I could tell you, it's like yeah, yeah, it's Last of Us Part Two. There's no way to argue that. There's no other game on that list or that came out this year that can knock that off what it is. It's it's even someone who hasn't played it can tell you. It's probably the strongest game of this year. Um, so, yeah. um, uh, anything else on the Game Awards you guys want to talk about? Any highlights? I was glad. I was glad. Thirteen Sentinels got a mention for such a niche game. It was up for best narrative. Yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, the, the Last of Us won that as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Obvious wanna... reasons. Yeah. But... Best uh, best um... art direction goes to Tsushima. All right. Best what thing I want to ask you? What thing I want to ask you about the awards, Lovejit, is No Man's Sky won best. Service, you know, like online service, right? Game. It won over Fortnite. It won over uh, Among Us. It won over... What else was on that list? It won over Call of Duty Warzone, Destiny 2, Apex Legends, so, Fortnite. Shit is How? Yeah, right. I don't How? know. Online, I, don't think do you mean, I don't think it should have been Fortnite. Online service is in that. Do you mean like, like a stable service? Or do you mean like... Yeah, I didn't like... Uh, yeah, I think that's what it means, right? Or do you it mean, means playability. Or do you mean enjoyability? No, 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 no. It's awarded to the game for the outstanding development of ongoing content that involves the player experience oh. over time. Because it has yeah, done so that. Fortnite. Fortnite is the best, though. Nope. No. How's Fortnite the best? Fortnite only did this at the const- new chapter it constantly, not too long it constantly, ago. It? it constantly performed for his audience. You had the Travis Scott um, concert that had millions just log on the game just to watch a concert. It's done things online that many other games can't get away with. And like, oh, no man's Sky... Is that, is that, no, no, that no, celebrities no. play it? But that's yeah, not they, 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 they. Ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. No Man's Sky launched terribly, so it fixed itself over time. That doesn't count as the same as what the award is <laughs> Exactly. Saying. For you to have no, a lack of a game no. and then See, add no, 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 stuff, no, no, no. which you're is breaking the game. That's a bit weird. No, right? you're wrong. I believe the player. No, no. Evolves the player experience over time. I can explain that. So initially, when they launched it, 
Initially, when they launched it, it was rubbish. But every update that they've done, and they've done several updates, added new elements into the game that yeah, massively that improved it. So the last one that was the latest one that's done now is to bring it up one, yeah. to it's up bring up to next gen graphics. But the one that was done before that was that you could start now going onto derelict ships and running around on derelict ships and picking up stuff. You can build okay. huge fleets and you can send fleets out to go and mine oh, this, do right. that, do this. Yeah, then you yeah, can cool. set up multiple okay. bases in universes. You can meet other players. If you play online, I have players that come to my planet out of nowhere. They, they, don't, they know who I am. They can come and do stuff. No game <laughs> has like gone kind of above... Okay. <laughs> but no game has come gone above island, beyond. Okay. Constantly, island, every block, every block has come in, has improved the game substantially and added something new. Why okay. do you think I've wrapped up 150 hours? Because every <laughs> time they release something yeah. new, you go back in again, and it's amazing. Like it's like this is I, I can't believe they added that into it. there. Yeah, but does it so, have that? Yeah, but what, does it have that multiplayer? What was aspect? interesting? He didn't. He didn't expect to win that though, because he spat out his beer when he won. Yeah, I don't think he expected to win because they've been shot on. It's so really yeah. funny. He spat out his beer. What do you want? It was like, <laughs> oh, it's shit. It's quite funny. It was funny yeah, to because, watch. Yeah, because they're the they, only company, they they're the people, only company to you know? have stuck it yeah. out, man. They're the only company to have... Yeah, okay, I'll rate him for that. I'll rate him for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, because they got destroyed for that. They were told, basically, what you've done is shit. And they didn't. They didn't give up on that. They were like, you know what? No. Like, we fucked up. Now we have to fix that fuck up. And they didn't stop until they fixed it. Testament to them. They could have at any point just said, no, we're done. We're, 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 we're moving. We're out of this. But they, they were like, no, we're going to stick with this and we're going to achieve what we wanted to give the fans. And that's what they did. So next year's version, Cyberpunk. that award is going to go to Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> next year. Next year. Cyberpunk are going to be the same guys, right? You're talking about now. They've they worked their ass off and they're giving they're out free be, content. Yeah, that's next year. Why? That's going to be next year. Because they, be when the they want to mentally fuck up, they have to do monumentally fix up because at the end of the day, they want to make money. So um, they're going to have to fuck up, um, fix up. Um, but yeah, I, I remember you told me about that game and um, uh, have they got a multiplayer aspect where you can play with two ships flying together? I've played with Ruben. Yeah, I've played with Ruben. And Ruben it works, works, yeah. Yeah. So that's good yeah. because that's what I was hoping for. Because I remember that's what we were sold on, and apparently they never had that. No more. <laughs> so it was really a sparse game. No, so. but the thing, the thing was when they first sold it, they they did f up. They did a cyberpunk. But the testament to these guys was that when they realised they had effed up, they went back and they didn't charge anybody for the packs. They literally started giving them away for free. Yeah, but you have to. That's customer yeah, service. Yeah, but every block upgrade. Substantially, <laughs> substantially improved the game. Like in, yeah, but that was the promises. Yeah, and Anthem, on top Anthem of that, is going so. through that at the moment. Anthem 2.0 is going to be the big update where they fix all of that. Um, when it comes out, they're going to add more things. Most games are doing that. You know why? Because most games are coming out unfinished. That's the big no, issue. Yeah, there we go. There we no, go. Anthem, 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 Anthem is a completely until different they part start, of it, Until they start giving you a complete game, then we can be happily paying money for more DLC where That's it. it adds That's to the it. game. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want you to add things to the game that I pay for just to fix the damn game. Like, I don't want to buy a half a game, especially yeah, when they're charging That's me it. £60 pounds now for new games. Right? Yeah, yeah. So That's, that's what you've got to look at. But uh, also, from their perspective, like No Man's Sky was in 2016, it's one of the biggest things they ever did. If you look at their games list, everything else was yeah, just crap yeah. compared to that yeah, one. Don't promise, don't promise anything then. You should have just yeah. released the game. Yeah. Like, I, no, I, but... I got two points on that before I forget. Um, no Man's Sky, um, I believe they, they came out as a sort of like an indie style game. And I think the fans made it into something bigger than it was. And they were shocked when it came out. Um, that especially everyone was expecting a triple A title, but they were actually just a slightly smaller indie type of a game, yeah. and I think that caught them off guard. So I don't think they were doing it intentionally, like how Cyberpunk intentionally Cyberpunk, yeah. released a. Con <laughs> no, Cyberpunk. They obviously they've been hard at it for eight years, right? But they no, obviously. Like Cyberpunk, they committed fraud. They committed fraud. No, no. Again, like, yeah, they did. They did commit fraud. Again, not they, the devs, they, they lied about that. Though. The management. So what the management did is that they wanted to make a quick buck and they fucked up. So that was intentional lying when they came to that. Uh, this one, I think they were just caught off guard. 
but they did yeah, their yeah, hardest yeah. to yeah. add the game until it became a triple A. On top of that, I was going to mention Cyberpunk. Um, this was the first time I actually saw on BBC News uh, they were talking about Cyberpunk. And I yeah, was, it was like, on everything. I, I sent you guys a yeah. picture in it. I was like, fuck it up. Um, Can we <laughs> end the Cyberpunk talk off? Finally. Like, yeah, like, yeah, finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the first yeah. time on BBC, I saw something gaming related. And I was like, yeah, this is big. big. This is big that it came yeah. on there. And it was New, New York Times wrote an article as well. And they're showing Keanu Reeves, obviously. They're making it Hollywood as, as best they can because that's how they, they make it into the mainstream because otherwise gaming sort of gets shunned in it. Um, I could, so, I could, no, so, so yeah. with No Man's Sky, um, with Fortnite, you were mentioning that um, it doesn't develop much. From my memory, I only remember that it went blacked out once and then it created a new world. Yeah, but that's not innovation, and that, is it? And that was it. <laughs> No, yeah. no, yeah, that's, they, they, no, that's they, what I'm they, saying. They, they, I think like they, they may add like you know <laughs> avatars and stuff like that, but that's the only thing they've ever done. They, they've changed it once, so. I don't think that's player, not, sorry, yeah. I don't think that's sufficient for it to be a everlasting changing yeah, world yeah. adding constantly. So that's why I think that shouldn't deserve the victory. No Man's Sky sounds like obviously they're adding in new planets and stuff like that. But you can also argue that Destiny Two is a game where they're adding new worlds. It started off with a certain amount of planets and I added in more with planets. Destiny. No, but I, I know you have, but be unbiased. Destiny Two is supposed to be <laughs> I like the fact that it has expanded. Yeah, but it's meant to be Destiny One. That's the problem. Yeah, that's fine, but Destiny <laughs> 2 bitter, right? <laughs> Destiny 2 is the expansion. Because world. because the same way I felt about how Cyberpunk came out, I felt the same way about Destiny and I bought like oh, a limited edition okay, cool. right, only right, to get right. shafted. Alright, wait, wait, wait. But what I'm saying is I that... got shafted on Final Fantasy fifteen. Yeah, I bought your old, that's your old I thing. bought the ultimate edition, <laughs> which was nearly two hundred quid. And the game that came out in twenty sixteen is a completely different game from the game you can play now. You didn't learn because you bought Cyberpunk. <laughs> so, I'll take that. 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 You win. You win. No uh, hurts. So I'll take it. I think that's all of the stuff for Game Awards. I think. Yeah. Okay. So, now we'll be covering. Yeah. Let's let's go on to the tri game trivia. Here. Oh, yeah. I've got about ten questions yes, here. Yeah. We're all gonna play it, and um, yes, let's go. Can someone keep score of who gets it? Uh, Just write down something. Yeah, <laughs> Write down something, yeah? Okay. yeah? I've, got, I've got a note. What is note. the name... So this is the first question of the uh, retro uh, video game trivia, yeah? What is the name of the circular object yeah. that is used to collect Pokemon? Oh, what? Pokeball. Pokeball, exactly. Yeah. That's Pokeball. Oh, wait, we've got to write this. We've got to write... No, 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 yeah. no. Someone, someone write down who gets the, um, the win for each answer. Uh, what's that? What's oh, okay, that? wait, hold on, hold on, yeah. So they go in, they go in category. They go from easy, then the medium, then to hard, right? Oh yeah, um, fuckable. Wait, so what we got to wait? You want us to shout out the questions, or do you want us to just write it down? So what? So what I'm gonna do? After. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna read out the the question, and then whoever yeah. answers first gets the point for um, under for getting the answer. And everyone else can obviously suggest what they think it is, and I can read and reveal the answer. But whoever gets the okay. point is the person that shouts it out first. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, so right now, if we just we'll give, all give you we'll the give answers, it, and we'll, then... give, we'll give everybody the pokeball answer. We'll give everyone the pokeball point. Yeah, exactly. We'll just... So give everybody then, a point right, the there, one, and then yeah. The next okay. one we do properly. Yeah, come on, let's go. Let's all right. Okay. So this is a medium one. Yeah. What was the name of the long-standing official Nintendo strategy? Magazine. Nintendo Power. Dude, that's not fair. Yeah, you can just read the questions yeah. out. Far, that, you right? can just fire them. Yeah. No, you had enough time for that. No, I, don't, I don't know that one, though. I don't yeah? know that. So, so Matt gets that one. So yeah. you want to yeah. answer Good. that? Okay, so let's see. Nintendo Power, yeah. Nintendo Power was the first established, <laughs> well, first published in 1988 and was discontinued in 2012, uh, though it came back in 2017 in the form of a podcast. Nintendo okay. Power, no, man. That's a, yeah, yeah, that's a classic. I'd have been lost. I'd have been lost. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which video game console did Nintendo release directly prior to the Wii? GameCube. Hassan died. <laughs> he just disappeared. Game, um, GameCube. Wait, what? GameCube. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't even hear the question. I didn't even hear the question. Uh, it's too late now. GameCube. It's done. <laughs> as soon as I finished reading the answer, he disappeared. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which um, which video game console did Nintendo release directly prior to the Wii? GameCube. Yeah, we all know it's GameCube, though. Yeah, but 
I, okay, I, I, I get the point for that because I said it first, but yeah. Okay, yeah, you take it. It's the point. So it's, it's, it's game, free, it's game right. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so next question: What is the name of the last video game video game console Sega released in the United States? My sound good, Dreamcast, man. Dreamcast, Dreamcast. Wait, wait, I, I didn't even hear the question. My internet's failing me. Ah, uh, see, this is the thing. I'm not even gas. Max, Max, Max has won this. Max has won this. He's just too yeah, cool. he's he it. As he's reading he the question, he already one, knows two, the two, answer two. that's got to come. It's out. Right, he's on four. He's on four. We could beat him if we get if we get all of them from now on. We could beat Max. <sighs> I doubt that's gonna happen. Oh, okay, let's go for it. Show one star. No, okay, I'm gonna try. If you win the next one, Mac wins. Max at a match point. I'm gonna try and read it as slow as possible. But the thing is, right? No, but you're on match point. You're on match point now because you've you've answered all the ones most correct. Yeah. Okay. So if you get this one, then you win. No, we've got a few more questions. So this is an easy one. All right, we'll go through. Oh, the, we'll go through, but okay. we know you've won. The word Pokemon is generally understood to be a translation of which Pokemon phrase? Monsters. Pocket Monsters. Monsters. Pocket Monsters. Pocket Monsters. Monsters. That's correct. Pocket Monsters. The original designer behind the game Tetris is from which nation? Russia. 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 Fuck's sake. I'm giving Love you, you said it first. I'm giving Love you a time, that's why. Because this baby over here keeps crying. Oh, I'm um, sorry, man. It's just, uh, no, 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 you loved it. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> what is the name of the alien race? Because this is a very hard one. What is the name of the alien race? Who were the adoptive parents of Samus in the Metroid franchise? The Coven! <laughs> Aliens! Species 8675! <laughs> oh my god, um, Mother Brain. Brain! Motherhood! Mother Brain! I know Mother Brain. Mother Brain's the main bad guy, isn't it? I think. Maybe yeah. I just go that way. But, um, shit. I don't know. Samaritans? <laughs> they were adoptive Aran. parents. Uh, Aran! Around. Yeah, we did it. Samus around. No, wait, don't just use the internet. Don't use the internet, logic. You fucking cheat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Chozo. 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 No, fuck off. Chozo. Fuck off. Yeah. 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 You can't have that. You can't have that. You can't. Yeah. Chozo you is not only adopted cheat. Samus. No but... cheating. No one got that. No one got that. No one got that, yeah. So Chozo not only adopted Samus, but are the inventors of the power suits she uses throughout the series. Interesting. Okay, another very hard one, yeah? No, okay. Google, no Googling, love you. What is the name no of the primary system used to rate video game content in Israel? Fuck off. How was supposed to know that? It's a very hard one. Um, <laughs> Oi, love you, no. I can see it glowing. His face glowed. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can read it on, I can read it on his glass reflection. I saw it glow. That ray I saw tracing. The ray tracing reflection, there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, nah. I want to see your hands. I want to see your hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, when he answers the question, when he asks the question, I want to see your okay, hands. Should we, should we take a guess? Um, game is real. Game is real. Okay. Israel uh, reviews. Pan so European you? game information. Oh fuck! Well, yeah. We Establishing two thousand three, the Pan European game information, Peggy. Is a system used to oh, give. Oh, I know ratings. Peggy. I know Peggy. Fuck, fuck, that's Peggy. what that is. It's Peggy. Peggy. Peggy 16. Yeah, we know Peggy. Damn it's it. a system <laughs> used to give ratings to video games in Israel and almost 40 other primary European countries. The protagonist in Grand Theft Auto Vice City was voiced by which actor? Oh. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. I know I'm not going to get that. Because Vice City, the one my brother batted, I didn't. So I could take a is shot. There's a guy from the ER. Yeah. There's that CJ, right, in the character. The CJ, right? No, Vice City. No, is... Vice City. Oh, right. CJ's. Um, San Andreas. The one after. San Andreas. San Andreas. Oh, after. yeah, yeah. Okay. Vice... This is before that. Vice City. The protagonist. Ah. Yep. Yeah, no, we're not. Yeah, I'm not getting that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to ah, get that. Ah, you guys should have got that one. Okay, let's see. It's a hard Wait, one. Wait, who is it? Uh, Ray Liotta. Oh, right. What the hell? What? The casino yeah, guy. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even know okay. it was him. Yeah, yeah, Vice City's pro yeah. protagonist, Tommy Veracity, yeah, 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 was yeah, voiced Tommy, by Ray yeah. uh, Leo Leata, a living oh, legend geez. in the action crime genre of pop media. Okay. Fun geez. fact. This is Fun fact, that's my favorite GTA. Uh, nice. Okay, good. Cool. Not anymore, because you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? Let's be go a, hard. A bit, a bit a like one. a top five fighting games, isn't it? Doesn't know them. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> Shots fired. Um, okay, this Before is a hard. Philips TV, and then have to return it. This is a. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Why? Why? Why does it go there? Why does it go there? Oh! <laughs> okay. 
Uh, well, Hadouk in your face now. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that's painful. Okay. Um, I told you that in confidence. Um, this is a hard one, yeah? LSC is the acronym for a professional esports league centered around which game? League of Legends. No, Dota 2. Sorry, LCS. Dota 2. League of Legends. The League, league of, of Legends. Legends, but that's LCS. LCS. No, it's a team that play League of Legends. Okay. No? Oh, yeah. Liquid LCS something. LCS is the acronym of a professional esports league, yeah, centered around the which game? League of Legends. League of Legends. Okay. okay. Wait, yeah, you, said, you said Dota. Okay. Uh, league of Legends, yeah. So, has uh, I guess the point. <laughs> league of Legends okay. Championship Series uh, is held annually in Berlin and Los Angeles. Okay. Nothing. So, let's Nothing. go to the next page. Uh, what's the score so <laughs> far? One. What's the score so Max, far? Max, you're leading with four. Lovejit has two, and I have three. How the hell do I have two? <laughs> yeah, po you do Pocket Monster. Uh, no, Pokeball we gave to everybody, and then um, you've got another one. So, okay, brilliant. So I'm I'm leading by. It's close, man. It's close. It's close, mate. We could do this. We could do this. Wait. So, so what have I got? What have you got? And what have Lovejit got? Oh my you god, got he I got you two. You've got four, I've got three, he's got two. So yes. we've, you're in the, you're, you're racing. Okay. You're, we're this racing. Is, okay, this is racing a hard one. Fight. This is a hard Let's one. Go. Who provides go. the voice of Pikachu in the 2019 Pokemon Detective Ryan Reynolds. Pikachu movie? Oh, I was going to say it as I froze. I was, gonna, I was thinking oh, of Ryan What yeah, happened yeah, to the yeah, fact Ryan that Reynolds. I'm reading it yeah, because I got the advantage? Oh, looks like you know it's not. Yeah. All right, Lovejit is on three now. So you it's, uh, scum. It's very right, close. You knew that before I even finished reading it. That's, that's I was, if you said movie, I, I, was, I, was, yeah, I, was, I was thinking it's part of the animation or something. But yeah, no, that's what I'm Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. We're not going to know a Japanese act, voice actress, are we? None of us is going to know her name, so it's going to be Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. It might so, be like a like the American translation version, isn't it? The let's go for it. Go yeah, for you're it. not going to know it, though. Are you? Yeah, might, let's go, let's go. Okay, this is a hard yeah. one. The protagonist in yeah. Grand Theft Auto Vice City was. Have we got that one? We've done that one, haven't we? We done that one. Yeah, we done that one. Yeah, shuffle to another one. Ray Liotta. Okay, which pop media icon was recently memorized in World of Warcraft in late 2018? Very hard. This one. Which pop media icon was recently memor memorialized in World of memorialized. Warcraft? In World of Warcraft of all things. In late 2018. Uh, so it means he died. That means he I mean, died he and they gave some sort of memorial. Uh, yeah, someone. What is it? What do you say? A movie star, actress. Well, who is it? What do you mean? Who pop, is it? Pop media icon. So it must be like a singer. Oh. Michael, Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson? That's what I was thinking. I said that first. No, well, I don't well, think Michael Jackson will be in. Uh, no, but uh, he died in 2018. Yeah, Wait, 2018? Who is it? Is it Michael Jackson? It? it was in 2018 they did the memorial or whatever. John Hurt. Prince. Prince. I'll say Prince. Prince will be mine. Ooh. I say I say MJ, but I'm sure MJ right, died cool. a bit earlier. Flip it. Uh, I'll say flip nobody. It. I'll say nobody. Let's see what it is. Flip it. See who is it? Who is it? Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Oh, oh come on. We Ooh, share. <laughs> We're so used to yeah. <laughs> Comic book visionary yeah. Stan Lee, who passed uh, away in 2018, uh, is uh, now featured as a NPC uh, in World of Warcraft. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Wow. I think wow. I heard something about that. This is an easy one. What is the name of the circular object that is used to... Oh, we go down on that one. Pokeball! No, no, you don't get the point. <laughs> you don't get that. Okay. <laughs> what is the highest level um, a player can reach in Pac-Man? Very high. 99. 99? I would say 999. I'll say... Yeah, I'll yeah. say 99. Don't. It's uh, 256. What? <laughs> oh, like the fucking... That's a... How bizarre is that? Okay, cool. A glitch right, in the code, a, a glitch in the code in Pac-Man makes passing the 256 level impossible. I remember that coming up as part of a game that they made, Championship Edition. Uh, uh, they, up, they played on up, that. Man. So some sort of glitch thing. Right, let's go. Okay, let's this is an easy one. Which item made Mario invincible in Super Mario Bros.? Star. Oh. Magic Mushroom. Star, you got it. You got Star. it. Star. Star. Oh, man. Imagine you bigger, on, man. Bro. Star Man. Yep, Star Man is not only... Makes Mario invincible, but also his Magic touch. Mushroom. Lethal to enemies. Mushroom makes him big. 
That's the other thing, doesn't it? Mario Magic doesn't mushrooms. do drugs. Mario doesn't do drugs, man. <laughs> censored, censored. Okay, this is an easy one. Um, the word Pokemon is generally understood Pocket to be monsters. a translation of which... I said it already. I said it already. Pocket monsters. Okay, you don't get no, a point for that. You don't get a point. You don't get a point. You don't get If you repeat them, I'm taking the point. No, you don't. I'm on four no, points. <laughs> four <laughs> points. No, no, no. Four. Don't guess. Four. Don't guess. No, you're not. Next the reason why I can't... The reason why I can't... Um, like, skim read it beforehand and make sure it's not a double is because if I do that, I'll know the answer. Before right, you guys, do, so that's what I'm gonna do, read it out. Do. If it is a double, right. I'll, I'll tell you guys. Right. This, is a, this is a hard one. Win this game. In 2012, student at MIT hacked the lighting system of an entire building to play which game? Doom. What's your, what year? 2012. Final Fantasy 11. Doom. The latest new Doom. Doom. I, Doom. I'll say Pokemon. The answer is, right, the answer is Tetris. Student what the at, hell? Student at MIT no, no, no. took control of the lighting system of the green building and conducted a 21-story, 300-foot game of Tetris. That's pretty mad. Oh, he's insane. That's so on, sick. On the that's wall, so... isn't it, basically? That's pretty mad. That's so sick. That's so sick. All right. Sick. It's an easy one. Solid Snake is a oh. hero in which famous video? No, 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 that's not fair. I was sure, reading it out sure. for you guys. Me and loved it. Me and loved it said it at the same time. No, no. I was saying it, but I had to finish reading the I said it before you. <laughs> Don't say the same time. I said no, he said it at the same time. He, he did the same so. Time. But I, I, can't, I can't finish a sentence off and then... All right. All right. We have to wait until you finish. We have to wait until you finish then. The reset hard. Okay, but... Yeah, because if I, if I have to wait until you finish if, the question, if, if, completely, I, if I don't finish it and answer it, then it's like that's cheating because you guys didn't hear the answer. All right, Mac, Mac, because we're looking on video, right? Give as all of us as, you, as soon as you read the last word, put your hand up and then no, we no, can no. Say it. have a buzzer, have a buzzer. No, put your hand up and we can and you can say it. I pick, <laughs> 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 I, I, no, no, we can't. No, we can't. <laughs> all right, put your hand up, Mac, on the last word, put your hand up Hassan. and then we can shout, even yourself. Give us um, give us all a point for that one because that one we all need. Yeah, okay, one. okay, cool. Look, <laughs> <laughs> okay, he just wants to take that one. Get out, man. You don't get that. It's an easy one. It's an easy one. Okay. So you can't. Uh, it's it's not the easy I'll one. I'm at the same time as you as well, mate. Don't try it. A <laughs> fuck you. You said it. Second. You <laughs> said it slower than me. Okay. Same time. All right, this is recorded, it. so we we'll know. We we'll know. We we'll know. All right. <laughs> so a um a pickaxe is a basic, commonly used tool in which video game? Go Ice Minecraft. Minecraft. Ice uh, Minecraft. Ice climbing. Ice climbing. I, I say Golden Axe. Minecraft, yeah. It's Minecraft. It's definitely Minecraft. He's got it. I raised He's my got... hand as well. I raised my hand as we well. Don't did, we don't need to raise hand. Just, just shout it out. We don't did, no, you don't. He, yeah, just, it's when he finishes, you can shout. It's not you yeah, raising. Just he agreed raised. to raise hands. Nah, no, raise hands. Him. His hands are going to work. No. It's Minecraft. Yeah, so Lovejoy gets it. Okay. So that means we've all got five, we all got five points right now. What? So, well, well, well. Look okay. who came back into the game. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> oh, this is a hard one. Who provides the voice of Pikachu? In... Oh, we got that one. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Ryan Reynolds. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hard one. In 2018, which video game company did actor Alfonso Ribeiro sue for unethically, unethically capitalizing of content he created? I know, he Fortnite. has to raise his hand. Yeah. Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite. 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 He's done. Fortnite. It's Fortnite. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Fortnite used his dance. The the Carlton dance. Fortnite used it. So Alfonso. Fortnite. Oh shit! That's Carlton. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Epic Games. Alfonso Ribeiro, former cos Costa. Sorry, former co-star of, of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air filed a lawsuit against Epic Games Fortnite's developers over an emote dance that hey. can be purchased in the and game. Do you, know, do you know why I caught onto that straight away? That one, because it? I recently watched I recently yeah, watched the, the reunion. The reunion, the reunion same here, the same here. That yeah, was recently, mad. That's what, when, that's when I heard his name. I was like, yep, that's and it. They, and they did it. a whole piece on this dance, innit? <laughs> yeah, it's so, uh, good. It was so good. That was yeah, such go a good, yeah, that was a good watch, man. Okay. Which real life talk show host is a radio um, personality in Grand Theft Auto? Uh, Colin LeBron. What are you putting your hand up for? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, what do you say, Conan? Jay Leonard? Uh, I don't know. Um, 
Laszlo Jones. Oh, we both lost. <laughs> <laughs> we both lost. Yeah, we both lost. Laszlo <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know his gays, man. Grand the other questions. You don't know nothing about them, but you talked about it for like, Rob, I for like an gays. hour I on Cyberpunk. <laughs> I was just say, learning, news, the, learning the learning the trivia of it. Compared to GTA, Jeffrey Laszlo. Compared to Jeffrey Jeffrey Laszlo Jones began his uh, real life career as a DJ over thirty years ago. Okay. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Okay, this is the easy one. What are the professionals? So, what are the professions of Mario and Luigi? Uh, no, and of Mario yeah. and his brother Luigi. Plumber! Plumbers! No, oh, yeah. no, yeah, yeah. Plumber! We all get the point. Plumbers, yeah. We all know it, though. That's, a, that's, a, that's I, like I, one I, of those I questions. I think me and Hazard should get the point. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> Plumber, <laughs> I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to say We could have been we've, we've left him behind again. Okay, medium. Which famous entertainer composed music for Sonic 3? Uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Oh, yeah, Matt, Matt, get, Matt gets it. Matt Michael gets Jackson. It, Matt gets it. Yeah, boy. Michael Jackson con contributed some music yeah, to Sonic right, 3 yeah, and Knuckles, though went uncredited after abandoning the project. It's funny, isn't it? That's like, why, you know, Sonic and Knuckles, you can't get new versions of it because Michael Jackson Estate still owns the music on it. Yeah, what happened is after he passed away, um, it got stuck yeah. up in legal practices, um, legal st yeah, um, stuff. So... No one can buy that game. It wasn't been released again, so it's quite crazy, isn't it? That about that story. Like, yeah. I, actually, when I played that game, I was listening to the level music, and I was like, "This is mad." You know that ice level. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Yeah. loved it, and I was like, with the knowledge of knowing that Michael Jackson was behind some of these songs, I was like, I can see why it's so mad. It was so good, man. I could play that game all again just for the music. Okay, this is a hard one. What is the name of the star system in which? The Star Fox universe takes place. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I'm done. Is it? No. Lilac system. Oh, oh it is as well, isn't it? Lilac. Yeah. As in like... Um... Yeah. Lilac. L-I-L-A-C. Is it right? Lilac, what? yeah. The fictional Lilac system wait. consists of 12 planets, including Corneria. Ah, so yeah. I don't even know what Lilac was, other than the fact that it was a uh, English version of our name title. for Lilac Wars. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's the planet basically. Medium. What is the process called by which people set out to amass large amounts of in-game currency to sell in the real world? Um, Farming. What's it called? Bitcoin. Farming. Large amounts yeah. of in-game currency to sell Farming. in the real world. Farming. 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 Farming or mining? Farming. What is the process called? Yeah, so it's a process. Farming. Um, gold farming. I'll give it to you, Lovejit. That's farming. No, man. No, that's come, all right. Come on. on. That's close enough. That's close enough. You say farming. Farming you can do in video games just to, to gain stuff. But in real, it's called gold farming. It's fun. No, one gets <laughs> no it. come on, man. Lovejit gets <laughs> No, he's got gold at the front. No, nah, man, I'm not having that. It's got gold at the front. Some people, particularly in developing countries, actually make a little <laughs> no, income from gold mining video game. game currencies. It's called gold farming. If it was farming gold, then cool. But it's called gold farming. You Hassan, never said gold. Hassan, give it the point. Fun that, man. Right. But that just makes it, that makes it even with you. So stop, I'm still one step ahead of you, you stop, lot. Stop being sore about this Christmas. You got it wrong. Isn't it? You just got the answer wrong. If we were an like, actual official show, you'd have been wrong. You know, so, you know, okay. we play Fa Family right. Fortunes, yeah, and we give answers. Um, sometimes we love you. Sometimes we're going to give it away, wrong, wrong. and sometimes people get sore when they're the opponent. <laughs> no, it's just the one. It's not right. right. This is an easy Such one. Up. This is the easy one. Um, what is the date setting of the original Call of Duty? I have no idea. 1950, 1956. 1991. What, of what? Of the original Call of Duty? Yeah. 1991. Original, what, setting? Yeah. The first Call of Duty, yeah. Date setting. 1945. Because it must be a battle of... Um, I mean, is it, it? Was it war? Was it a war one? I yeah, 1945. Was ah, okay. It's called... Um, they just called it World War Two. 1945. That's weird, oh, isn't it? Nice. What is the date setting of the original Call of Duty? But they went with World War Two. What is it? What was it? What was it? Yeah, it's World, World War Two. It's World War Two. And what was the? All of the original ones. Like, loved you. You gave 1945. 45. So yeah, date of the World War. So he gets it. Yeah, I mean the original oh, Call man, of Duty I'm was based on World War. Tied now. 
I'm tired of love jit now. Fuck. Wait, so what's the score? <laughs> what's the score? It's eight, eight to me and love jit and seven to you. Oh, fuck. When does this game end? Off. Fuck off. All right, if it's eight, eight, and and I got seven. Then... First to ten. First to ten. First to ten. Yeah. First to ten. All right. Next set of questions. Okay. This is a hard one. Which real life talk show host is a. No, we could have done that one. Jay Laszlo. Uh, fuck <laughs> off, man. Shut up, <laughs> medium. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up. Medium, medium, medium. Which popular video game go. feature comes from the Howling Abyss? Wait, say that again. Which popular video Rich. game creatures come from the Howling Abyss? Dark Souls. Oh, fuck off. I wouldn't know that. No, that's a title, not a creature. No, this come, is, from, this is come from the Howling Abyss. Which popular video game creatures come from the Howling Abyss? There we go. So it's a type of creature. Name of a creature. Of yeah, yeah. Resident Evil. <laughs> That's a title. No, a title. That's a title. Like, right. like a zombie it's or a, like a, a cat. Find an actual creature. What comes from the Howling Abyss? Yeah. Howling Abyss is in what game? It's like goblins from you know the um, Zelda. You know the goblins with the hammers. Like this is going to be hard. The Howling. What are the bad guys called in Gears of War? Uh, Locus. They don't come from the Howling Abyss. Hard. And then a new one that became Spawn. Uh... I don't know, know whatever. I just thought, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what major game has the Howling Abyss. I don't yeah. play a game that's got the Howling Abyss. Howling Abyss. It's the day of the the one that was three. No, it couldn't have been that. No, nah, forget it. What's the answer? Let's say what, what game is it? Just tell the answer. Uh, we all got it wrong. Poros. The lovable oh. and transformative Poros from World of Warcraft originate from the Howling oh. Abyss. Oh. Oh. That's what oh. we're not going to get that. Oh. What is the name of the racing series that is a spin-off of Super Mario Brothers? Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Oh, I damn it! Plenty yeah, of time. Super, that was Mac. That was Mac. That was Mac. Mario Kart. So, Back in the oh, running. Tight, is it? Back on the running, bitches. Tight. It's tight. It's tight. It's Back tight. Let's running. go. Uh, With two questions to go. Two wins to go. Two wins, and you've got this. The PlayStation yeah, prototype bro. was the design was, was was designed by Sony in collaboration with which company? Nintendo. 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 I, I me, me and Lovejet said it first. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not me and Lovejet. I said it Love first. Lovejet said it. Yeah, Lovejet. Nah, yeah, no, no, no. We can replay that. Love we said it no, at the same Love time. No, no. Love no, no, me, no, no, me I said and Lovejet. I had to read it out, but I said when it you, When you edit this video, you can redo the scores. But 100% Lovejet said that quick before you. No, 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 no. Jesus I think we said it at the same time. I will slow it down in editing and you will hear it. Loved it, telling it. Uh, did you hear that? I will slow it down in editing. So he'll slow loved it down in editing just to make himself quicker. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I've got it. We'll slow it down you. to hear who can. It's got the boy. Loved it's got the boy. He said it first. I know he did. Yeah, the PlayStation was originally a CD-ROM add-on for the Super Nintendo. Nintendo pulling yeah. out of the deal in 1991 prompted Sony to eventually produce it on their own. Because Nintendo went out and, and partnered with Panasonic, and then they That's started it. to rub it in their face. And Sony were like, "Fuck you, we'll do better." <laughs> All yeah, right, uh, medium one. Yeah, Pokemon was originally released on which video game console? Game Boy. Game Boy. Game Boy. Game Boy. Fuck sake! I said it first. Said it first. Don't try Fuck's it. Why? Sake. Okay. That's Boy. the standard score. That's me. That's me. Game That's Boy. The game Boy. I said. I said Nintendo Game Boy. Me and Love you on nine. Mac is on eight. Lovely. Because anyone can still win this. Let's that's go. Not, not Do okay. hard. Do hard and very hard only. Easy ones are going to be too too like risky to use now. Okay, I'm going for the hard one, alright? Which Mario character was uh, has appeared in all but one Mario Party game? That was... Luigi. Shy, shy guy. Luigi. Was... In all but one. Yeah. I say shy guy. What is the bird one with the big with the big lips? That's what she's Birdo. giving head. Birdo. It's Birdo, yeah, Birdo, that one. Yeah, that hoe. Birdo. Um, the hoe Birdo. You're wrong, it's Wario. Oh, that's Wario, oh, jeez. In the fifteen plus games that make up the Mario Party series, oh, only Mario Party Advance didn't feature Wario. Yeah. Interesting. Wario. Okay. Okay, Next hard it. question. Another hard one. Like Pac Man Ghost enemies are dubbed Blinky, Pinky, and Inky. What is the name of the fourth member of the crew? Inky, Pinky, Blinky. Blue. I say Dinky. Brinky. Swinky. Clyde. 
No, 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 no. Ryan is an orange ghost and is also known as Pokey in the English version of Pac Man. Oh, no oh. one got Pokey either. I don't want to give any of that. Or Clyde. Pokey or Clyde. Damn it. Damn it. Um, oh. Okay, so that's another easy that's, one. That's, that's good. Uh, that's good. Break that's, time chat. That's quite hard, isn't it? <laughs> the, good fact, the good fact to know that the orange ghost is called Clyde. Yeah, exactly. Um, let me just give this one. This one doesn't count, yeah? What colour do the ghost enemies turn to once Pac-Man Blue. eats a power palette? I thought it was white. Blue. I think blue. I think it's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah, that's right. Why is the name of the last video game console Sega released in the night? Like we had that one. That's Dreamcast. Yeah. Okay, so that was just a that that one didn't count. The Pac-Man one, right? Blue. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we done it. Let's go to the next. But you could have won it if you made it count because <laughs> I didn't get that right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Medium. Which Mortal Kombat character has the ability to transform into a dragon? Shing Sh- Shao Sh- Shang Song. Shao Kun. Shao- La King. I said Shao Kahn Kung. first. La Kung. Kang Lao. Kang Lao. It's Kang Lao. I said Shao Kahn. Kang Lao. Or oh, Liu Kang. Sorry, Liu Kang. Too I'm late, too late. Liu it's Liu Kang. Liu Kang. Liu Kang. I said can... it before. No, you no. I, I looked at the answer. I said it before you revealed the answer. You no. Said, have you the said Shao. No. I don't no. have the card. No. No. You said no. the name several the times. No. No, no, no. no. I, I said Liu Kang no. before you said Liu Kang. And I don't have the card. I revealed so I it. Have I revealed it after he reiterated yeah, it three, three times. Win. The wrong guy. No, you don't know. You said it wrong. You said it wrong. I revealed it. I said. I said the wrong guy twice, but before you revealed yeah. the name, after, after I don't have the card though. After he said it wrong the second time, I looked at the well, answer. Okay, thank you. You got me in it. You got me. So, still, yeah. let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Try that. <laughs> you let's go. I said it before you changed it, but it's okay. He's into a dragon. I didn't know that. Okay, medium. Yeah, he does. In, in 2018, which video game company did actor? We've done that one. Uh, easy. Okay, uh, medium. Pokemon was originally released on... Okay, we've done that one. Um, hard one. <laughs> What was the first video game to feature basketball legend Michael Jordan? Space, Space Jam. Jam. That was insane. Oh, basketball that's, that's, that's basketball game. Yes. Space Jam. Space Jam. Uh, me and Hassan should get that. It is called. Yeah, that was the one what? for the Sniz. It was one for the Sniz. Okay, we yeah, didn't. We didn't get that one. So, do you want to give an what answer? Loved it. Go on. So you can't say we cheated. Oh, what's that game called? Oh, I've got it now. Five. I can't. Four, I can't. Yeah, just three, take it. I two. can't remember the name. Jordan versus Bird. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Michael yeah, Jordan that. made first made an official appearance in 1988. Oh, Jordan versus Bird, one on one by Electronic Arts. He could not uh, be featured in prior NBA games uh, based games due to opting out of the NBA Players Association. That was a hard one. When I first that saw that, good. I will, I just saw Michael. I thought it was Michael Jackson question. I was like, I'm gonna get this. That's it. Win. Okay, medium. Superstar rapper, producer, Dr. Dre played an arms dealer in which video game? Def Jam Vendetta. Dre. Or was... San Andreas. I don't know the 50 cent game. 50 cent game. But... No, Def Jam. You said Def Jam Vendetta. I said Def Jam. No, no I'm not going to go for that. No, you can't change I, I, it. I, I, that's what you said. I, I love the answer. I got it right. 50 cent bulletproof. So I got it right. Yeah, but you didn't say the game. You said 50 cent. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the game. You don't get that. No, 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 no the you don't get that. The, ti- the title no, is... The game's called bulletproof. The title is 50 cent colon bulletproof. You said bulletproof. bulletproof. Yeah. You didn't say the title I, of the game. I said bulletproof. I, 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 yeah, I, but that's what I'm saying. No. If, if I did say cent. Michael Jordan for the Michael Jordan game... <laughs> It's called Michael Jordan versus Bird. You said one name. I said the 50 cent. No, no, no. No, no, sorry, Mac. We have to. You said the name of the guy, but not the name. Sorry, no. Oh, no, no, give me that, you guys. Uh, Which sold over. Apart from me, you actually got the name right of the character before you said it, but come on, let's go. That's it, man. Stop being such a soul, man. Um, Let's go. Next question. Man, uh, you guys should give me that one. Next question. Next That's question. No, you shouldn't have got it. You shouldn't have got it. You said the I knew, I knew that because it came up on the MJR. Metal Juice's Rocks did a video about uh, Mil- uh, uh, the same game. Yeah, uh, then you uh, say the full name of the game, innit? You yeah, don't just it. say 50%. Yeah, exactly. yeah, there we go. Love you. I, gave, on, I gave you the other one, yeah? Relax. <laughs> there's no emotions here. Let's go. No, I, I, there's no, I, you can't just say, you can't say, what's the fight? Yeah, That's Hassan, true. Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. 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 Scratch, scratch out Love Just point for the other one. This is very hard. Notch is the world famous designer of which video game? 
Um, not. Not. N O T C H. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Wait. I'm gonna say Witcher. Not. Quake. Quake. Okay. Doom. Minecraft. Motherfucker! <laughs> I don't even give a shit about Minecraft. What is the yeah, name of Marcus Pers Person, the Swedish creator of Minecraft? <laughs> okay. Okay. Very hard. What is the highest level of player? No, that's uh, we got that one. That's Pac-Man one. This is a hard one. Who were the first rappers to have their very own mainstream video game? Fifty Cent. He's a mainstream rapper. It wouldn't be that guy. It might be the first. Beastie. It could be Beastie Boys. It can't be Michael Jackson. It doesn't do. He doesn't do rap. Okay, so I say um, Fifty Cent. What do you? Who were the guys that wore the Adidas sneakers and the hat? Hats. Run DMC. It could be Run DMC. What a game would it have been? Oh, you mean Hammer Time for extra points for two points? If you can get the game right and it's them, then you. I, then I'm, you I said Beastie Boys. I'm not. I'm not going to change that. I said Beastie Boys. I'm, I'm going to get this one. I bet it's mainstream Boys. rappers. Who were the first oh. rappers to have their very own mainstream video? I'll game? say Chris Cross. What? Why are you changing it for? Okay, so the answer is Wu Tang right. Clan. We, we have said final answer. Oh, Wu Tang. Yeah. Okay, Released so in 1999, Wu Tang. Shaolin style even resulted in PlayStation producing a custom controller shaped like the Wu Tang Clan's logo. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know that. That's mad, it? Shit. Did not know yeah. that one. What's the scores, guys? Nine nine We're... seven. Yeah. No, it's nine nine eight. Mac is <laughs> on eight. What? <laughs> yeah, we. Me and Logic can win. You can win too if you get two right. If you get two right, you're winning. Okay. We just need to get one right. Um, so... A hard one, yeah. How much money does the yeah. average player spend on Fortnite? £1,000. £1,000. I'm going to say £100. Um, £100. 50 I'll say 1000 I'll say 1000 Let's Answer... go. Oh, fuck's sake. It's uh, $60. I'm the closest because i got 50 Love you gets that one. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Loves you, loves you wins. Loves you wins the tournament. You do a Fortnite dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, Anyway, I still, I, I still believe I won. Oh, and uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that's I, how you win. I you still, come from behind, and you. I still got robbed. I still, I got robbed, I got robbed by fifty cent game. <laughs> oh fuck off! You said plumbers. <laughs> you never said the game. <laughs> whereas, whereas I said the character. <laughs> Oh man, all right, guys. Listen, enjoy your Christmas, guys. It's it's gonna be, yeah. been an awesome uh, episode. It's been a crazy year, yeah, and it's, it's been good. fun doing episodes with you guys. And um, I hope that we can carry on doing a few more uh, episodes like yeah. these. Yeah, the yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, we'll try and get a few more people on for next year's Christmas one. I re we normally have a few more people, but we couldn't get everybody to sort of get the schedules correct, so we could get everybody in. But we've got the main two guys over here anyway for yeah. the regular yeah. episode. Actually, what's the next year's games that are coming out? Maybe we should do like a little. We've got a lot. Quickly. There's a lot. There's no, a lot. What are you more looking more forward to for next year? I'm uh, looking forward to Death Proof and sorry, Death Loop. I keep saying Death Proof. Death Loop and Guilty Gear Strive because they're early releases. They're in. I March. think Death Loop. I think Death Loop. Death Loop is what I'm looking forward I, I, to. As well. I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk. But I would say, um, yeah, what definitely. Nintendo come out with um, Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild 2, um, or if it's gonna be, oh, yeah, oh, but I've completely forgot about it. Breath of the Wild 2 will be amazing, yeah. like, oh, that's, that, that's, that's when that's when I own for like end of year next year, so. that's, when I, that's when I own a switch, I'll own a switch when that game comes out, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. I think that might come out next year. Um, there might be like a 35th anniversary okay. for um, game collection, just like we had with Mario. Uh, for we Zelda. could still have a Switch 2. We could still have a Switch 2. We don't know yet. You know, you know what I'm looking for? Do you know what I'm looking Switch forward 2. to? Warhammer, Dark Tide. Warhammer, Dark Tide. Warhammer, Dark Tide. Warhammer, Dark Tide. Oh, yeah, that looked good. Yeah, that looked good. Evil, Genius to, Evil Genius 2, World Domination, which is a strategy game for PC. So I'm looking forward to that yeah. as well. That's going to be really good. No More Heroes 3, just to see how it is. Oh, yeah. The first oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, there's some more as well that's coming I'm, out. As I'm well. looking forward also to uh, God of War Ragnarok. That's what it's called. God, God of War, War Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah. 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 Ragnarok. That's how it confuses me, man. When they say Ragnarok, I keep thinking it's God of War. Oh, yeah, well, it's the same world, but yeah. yeah. God, God, yeah. So oh, that yeah. they promised it will be next year. So 
Yes. Let's see if they stick to I'm alright, we're getting Horizon 2. We're getting something up. I'll be interested to see if they make a um, Resident Evil 4 remake next year. Oh been, yes, that was that was on the leak. There's been heavy that was on the leak. about that. Um, <laughs> so um, someone um, on you YouTube, have YouTube um, brought this to my attention. Um, so next year is going to be um, Halo's 20th anniversary, and it okay. falls in like October, or September. So I think so, two, Halo, so I think yeah, 2001 yeah. was when it came out in September time, original Xbox, okay. right? So 20 years later, now they've got a new deadline that's even more. Awesome. Think about it. Are you gonna buy? Are you gonna they buy? Wanted, are you gonna buy limited edition stuff? They wanted like I, I would, one copy of. I'm I'm looking I'm looking for a Series X console. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Halo what edition. I'm looking forward to actually is next E3 season or gaming gaming festival, whatever they call it. I want to see Xbox throw out Summer original game. titles that will just like shake up the competition. Mm. I want to see some original titles come out from the Xbox table. I think they will do. They bought, they bought Obsidian that's over. See. That's yeah. what I want to see. No, but I want, I want to Every, actually see everything them. Bethesda. We know, we know, yeah, we know, we know just by name who they own. Everything, <laughs> everything <laughs> Bethesda is exclusive <laughs> now. Fuck I want to see some. I want to see. No, but you say that, but <laughs> Death, Death Loop is on PlayStation for a year. They're allowing it to be. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. PlayStation's had PlayStation's had the biggest launch it's ever had. Sony have had the best so console launch they've ever had yeah. with PS5. I believe that Microsoft will let them have the Bethesda <sighs> games, even though they've got exclusive rights. Nah, I don't think they will. I think they're gonna. I think they will. I, will. I think they will allow Sony to have the Bethesda games. I think they're gonna. Money, I think they're gonna slowly mark away. away. They may let them have the older one for now, but I yeah, think, but, I think but if they release this... a new one, I think they're gonna be like. Yeah. I, think we'll, I think we'll have this one. <laughs> right. think, look, at, look at this, Mac. Think about this, Mac. If they say to people, you can buy this on PS5 for 60 quid, or it's on Game Pass day one, no money on Xbox. What are you going to choose? Game Pass. Game Pass. A, a Game Pass. Yeah, that's what I mean. Does, does so, anyone need Game Pass? They, they, make, they make more money from putting it on Sony machines. Yeah, does yeah. anyone want, ga- does anyone yeah. want At a free Game Pass? At the same time, no, I'm alright. Um, if either of you want it, let me know. <laughs> You could, yeah, buy, no, you, right, you, you right. could buy it for one pound now for three months off the store. <laughs> <laughs> New members. Um, yeah, so like yeah, no, no Hassan, Hassan you're, you're forgetting that Microsoft don't really need. Uh, everyone, everyone's making the argument for them to feel that they need the to make the money back or whatever, but they don't need no, but to make the money back. I think, I think it's just extra money. Everyone wants extra yeah, money. But I think Microsoft don't actually need the money. And the fact that everyone's making the argument for them to have the money, they're gonna—they could easily turn around and be like, "Now nah, we're good," and they, we know they okay, are. Yeah, good. Okay, we'll we know they we'll are good. See. It's a way to see. We'll yeah. wait and see. But, but I believe I believe you'll be on everything. But if any company game, has the money, in it. we know they do, innit? it? Did uh, uh, Xbox already release the thing, the cloud thing? What's already out? X Cloud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's with, uh, I don't know. I think it is. Yeah, out. I'm it's, sure it's, it's out, out with. Um, uh, at the moment with Game Pass Ultimate, Ultimate. you can play on your yeah, phone. Yeah, Android phones, not iPhone at the moment. Yeah. And you can play it, yeah. Glassstream. My brother's got it as well. He plays it. It's pretty mad. I played Gears of War on it. It's, it's legit. Can you play on PC? It's legit. Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, yeah. You can do that. That's a PC version. Um, he, he's actually figured of just keeping it. He, he loves it that much. Oh, sweet. He got that, um, uh, that controller adapter that goes on either side of your phone. Uh, made by mm. Razer. Racer yeah. Kishi or something. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's cool. It makes, it yeah, makes your it. it makes your phone look like a switch, basically, with the control. Yeah, 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 like I feel like gain that, but then I'm like, what am I going to get that for? I'm not going to play. It <laughs> but it's so Mobile good. That game, I, yeah, it's so like good it, yeah. that I feel like having that as a bit of kit for my phone. But <laughs> I know I'm not going to use it. So it's not worth the eighty quid, but it's quite good. Um, I grab that actually. Yeah. So um. Yeah, man, guys. So, what are you guys doing for Christmas yeah, anyway? Sure you guys, you guys just gonna be in lockdown, in it? So we're gonna have food out. Yeah, I'm gaming. Gaming, man. Food, food and gaming. Food and gaming. Planning on coming to England, <laughs> gaming. 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 Coming to England after um, the lockdown kind of disappears. I got a couple of things I need to sort out back home. Yeah. So hopefully we can do an England special. Um, should be back at some point next year. I think gaming. it's gaming. It's yeah, gaming's winning, but also like. From my perspective, I think this year was that year where consoles really kind of fucking took it. They took it hard. Like, everyone would argue and say PC gaming, this PC gaming, that. But to be honest with you, 
the gap between gaming on a PC and a console kind of it closed down a little bit, in my opinion. It's mm. getting closer and closer. I'm actually finally happy that you have two decent games consoles that have come out that are pushing hard. That's and it. the games that came out this year, that as someone who plays on PC games, it was sad not to get them. But the thing is, I think down the road we will get them. It was good to see that, man. It's also good to see that Sony have started releasing games on PC. So it's interesting yeah, to yeah, see. Whether, right. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. So it'd be interesting to see if they do that with the other things. But I think also what I'm looking really forward to next year, and this is a personal really looking forward to it, is cloud gaming going that next level. <laughs> looking forward I'm to hoping Stadia. so. Huh? Looking forward no, to not Stadia. Stadia. <laughs> not Stadia. Not Stadia. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone is, man. Right? Anyone is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Microsoft actually gaming I cloud. It, I I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. X cloud. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing what what Xbox do with Game Pass and see if they can really uh, make a stand with this. Because if they start ramping up subscriptions, they're going to get to a point where they're going to be like so powerful, and they might actually win the generation. But that's still to see, isn't it? I think that's a long way off. I think to win the generation is like a two-year battle. Right now, we've just entered into a period where the initial salvo has been fired. But I'm hoping next year we see a lot of different stuff. <laughs> What's everything war-related for you? <laughs> because it is. Because it's always, it's, always, it's always going to be one or the other. And the thing is, I think Sony's strength at this moment, what they're leaning into, is giving them an advantage. And I don't think... I think Xbox definitely have changed tactics. I think we're seeing... Uh, Warner or a battle of gaming companies that is going into cloud gaming it's going into cross play it's going into like gaming is for everybody it's not just us versus them but also the fact that we are going into cloud gaming it's interesting man like I know that your your accessibility for everybody yeah but I know that your your main thing is that your YouTube channel focus is mainly on games on like games consoles and stuff but no, I mean I got, for, I, got, I got Steam. I play PC games as well. No, 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 no. Um, I don't mean that. I mean, I mean, for example, I video mean, like, content really, is on consoles. Yeah. Yeah, consoles. But I mean, come on, man. Let's think about something. Like, if I had a Games Pass and I had the joypad and I had my phone, and you were playing a game and you were like, "Loved it. Let's just jump on and play Street Fighter." And I had that just on the phone, ready to go yeah, with that- the joypad. That's a that convenience. Man. That convenience is good, but what I hate about uh, it's more, it's more like if you're in someone's house. It becomes like it becomes like Netflix to me. You know, like if I'm just cycling through games on the past, I'm not going to play fucking anything. No, 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 no. But the thing is, no, no, no. It's just my mentality. I I prefer the way I play games on console. No, no, no. I think that's. I get that because I don't. I have the same thing with Netflix where I didn't just scroll too much and I'm watching nothing. But when I do start playing or when I do start watching certain shows from like I think I complete the entire Walking Dead up until season 10 I complete it or my, or my backlog on um, Amazon Prime Video and now I feel like that was worthwhile to me I watched the new Grand Tour special that came out on the 18th of December um, on Amazon Prime I feel like I'm getting my money's worth and so Hassan when you do finally do play that one game or two games like I say it's an RPG and you clock in like another 80 hours on a Game Pass game, at that point you're gonna be like, I've got my money's worth, and suddenly you're gonna feel like it's worthwhile, and you're waiting for that moment. And when that happens, say Xbox release an exclusive that's only available on Game Pass and Microsoft and PC. Yeah, you I, might jump I, in for that and play that one, and then you're gonna feel like, fuck, this is mad. You just need that. It's one. the future. It is it. the future. It is the future, no doubt. It is the future, no. But I just think it's Scro- not. We're not there yet. Scrolling, and you know, it happens no, when you have yet. too many options. But that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing to have that. Was... But when you focus I, uh... on and you get one game under your belt or yeah. a few games under your belt and you complete it, then you feel the value. And that's what happens when you it's... finish shows no, on, on streaming sites too. You feel the value when you get that. At the moment, Disney Plus hasn't given me much value. But I'm gonna start watching the Mandalorian, here, and I'm gonna here. be like, I'm gonna be like, oh, sick. Mandalorian is gonna make me yeah. increase my value for that, and all the new stuff like the Winter Soldier and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows next year. that are coming out. Next year. I'm like, this yeah. is gonna be like one of my top streaming services now. So I'm gonna start to see the value in that, and it's gonna yeah. be worthwhile. And that's what you need: a few shows, a few games, and the value of a subscription becomes relevant to you. 
I think also with the streaming pass is that it gives us as long that as we are all willing to jump on it. That's if we all jump, man. <laughs> that was quiet. If we if we all willing to jump on it, it gives us the opportunity to play multiplayer games without having to buy and install them. And I think that in itself is a big win. That yeah. we must look at and say, like Hassan, you could jump on your computer and just play it because you know you can stream the game on your PC. You don't need to actually buy the graphics okay, cards yeah, and do yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. I can do the same. Matt can do the same. And we can actually play together. That loves so it. Like, me... like, say, like how Google Stadia did that. Yeah, that's the future. Yeah, that's the future. You know how Google it. Stadia launches straight off a browser. If Microsoft get to a point where they remove the box and it's just basically off a browser, off you know Microsoft Internet Explorer, you go in and you, and you launch. <laughs> the worst, the worst browser that a man could ever. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I, I know. Yeah, it's just the worst browser yeah, you can yeah, 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 yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edge. Edge. Yeah, it has to be edge, because they're not going to release it. It's called Edge now. It's edge. Yeah, it's they've come edge. a long way. That's actually quite good. Um, yeah, edge, what, edge, is edge is Chrome now. There. Edge is Chrome. It's built on Chrome technology. Mark some Edge. It's, yeah, it's, it's built on Chrome. It's built on Chrome technology. It's called Edge, isn't it? It's called Edge, but it's technically Chrome. All right, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Just like I was technically correct with that other question here, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Microsoft. No, would, I agree. If, if Microsoft yeah. released the brand, the the internet, so, yeah. sorry, the Game Pass on a browser, it's going to be their one. It's not going to be on Google Chrome, right? It's not going to be on Safari. It's, I mean, for me, most the future likely. point is. But imagine you can, that. Imagine you the can log in. They... You can log in. Is that like it's on like playing a game on? How you log Ultra in? Setting, how you log into Outlook? Setting. Yeah, like, if browser, it's like ultra your emails I come it, I get it. I get you it. log in and you get access to what Google Stadia did was like half of the tech. They did the bit where yeah, you can easy, ease easy. of access. Now, if Microsoft did that with their services, which is the ease of going in and having all the games available and not having to buy yeah. stuff, that's the mesh that you need. And that's going to happen in the future because eventually they're going to become an Xbox oh, yeah. service, oh, yeah. no oh, game yeah. console. And I think that's really cool when I say I come to someone's house, right? And they are playing. Um, Call of Duty or God of War or sorry, Gears of War or whatever right yeah. a multiplayer yeah. shooter and they are playing it so I'm like it's a single player game right but they're playing online how do I join that I will pop up my laptop go on the browser my other mate goes on his phone and then we all can play into the same game yeah. that is what's really cool about that the fact that you can I'm about to get the game pass I'm the about goal. to get the ultimate I'm about and to you, can go, you can go you can go around the world like say you're going on holiday and you can't you could just have to pack your controller yeah Exactly. You know, pretty like, much. Pretty much. Different thing. Like, if you're and working abroad, I can control also, it. I think the shift. I think the shift yeah. of it is good as well because the thing is, well, abroad is a bit everybody... different because you always have bad internet when you go abroad, especially. The, no, the I mean, you know, like if you're working abroad, you no, know, but, like. Uh, but the, the, the I get what you mean. You don't, you're, not, you're not carrying your collection with you. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, but also, but also you, have to take you, your you have to take into consideration as well that yeah. it gives people the it's mad, it? um, it's a mad future. It gives it people that it gives people that opportunity to play AAA titles on their television on this fancy TVs. It gives them that opportunity finally without having to invest in a console. And gaming is truly going to go to that next level where everybody can play. And as gamers, I'm really happy for that. I want to be connected and play with yeah. yeah. And I want to play with my I want to play with my friends. I want to play games like I don't I I don't care that I have a computer that's great, it's powerful. Who gives a shit? But the thing is, as long as I can play with my friends and three of us can play a game and rip each other to shit and say like you're this, you're that, but have a yeah. great time. That's the main thing, man. That's that, what matters to me. Cloud gaming yeah. and crossplay is definitely bridging that gap. That's it. To that's the it. point where that's it's going to be. Well, that's, we're, we're talking future here, man. It's not there yet. It's so <laughs> let's say, let's so hope cool. that 2021 yeah. delivers us the cloud experience and gaming just moves that extra mile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it's... Eco <laughs> ecosystem wise, like the fact that you can sign into your phone and you, everything Xbox related is just there rather than signing into a Google Play game and then having to sign in with a different yeah. email address and getting lost and what the fuck i haven't played this game in ages now it's, it's all asking for different credentials you just click into the app and then you're in with your xbox ecosystem oh, which is yeah. to your pc your console and your laptop Good. which is mad I, I like the fact that ecosystem is syncing in together people can say that about steam it's all one ecosystem but it's cool to have an xbox where it, it bridges over steam it, steam it steam bridges, isn't bridges. steam's a bit dis, steam's yeah. a bit disjointed but steam's been a bit disjointed that, because of ea 
Yeah, that's the yeah. EA, EA Play came into Game Pass as well. Yeah, is, already, yeah. Mad, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, but you have to use Origin. You have to use Origin, which I don't agree about, which they oh, did with yeah. Steam. Yeah, yeah they, no, force, you, they force you to log Play into Origin. coming into PC as well for Game Pass Ultimate PC as well in, uh, in 2021. Uh, but the fact that a, a phone, a laptop, and a console at home have can have the same Xbox game running across all of those is mad. Anyway, guys, but thanks a lot for coming on for Christmas episode. This yeah. is this is a Christmas Always special. A pleasure, man. It's Always been a, a very long yeah. episode. Um, Enjoy, man. But yeah, I mean, looking forward to the holidays. Just chilling, really. Um, let's hope That's to see it. what happens. Play some games. Hopefully, this virus yeah. gets somehow miraculously we kick his ass. It doesn't look that way because we've got strain number two. But, but <laughs> yeah, but we've, we've, got, we've got the vaccine we're out, right? We've got the vaccine. You're about to add. You're about to add. You're about to enter 21 days later. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we see what 2021 brings, but, but for gaming at... is going to be sick. For gaming is going to be sick, unaffected. Gaming is unaffected. It's going to be great. I'm but, sure. Yeah. I've been, I've been on holiday mode for quite a while now. It's got to be of annual leave book tap as well. So. I'm enjoying it. So thanks a lot for coming on, guys. Appreciate yeah, yeah. it. And um, we'll yeah, um, happy holidays, really. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, bye. Take care. See you. Cheers. Take it easy, guys. Take care. Safe. Bye.